I'm retarded. I'm a globe. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sovereign Soul Unchained Mind. Coming to you live 250 miles above your imagination in the International Fake Station, along with my good friend, Something Wong, who is here to make sure that nothing goes wrong. So he's our little technician in the background, my handler, if you will, from the Chinese Communist Party. How is everyone doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. So I thought we'd go over this. Uh, we started it last night, but we only got like six minutes into it. And uh, was that Luca? <laughs> yeah, probably. Wuka. <laughs> Greg. 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 You said you weren't going to do that no more now. Come on. Remember? Come on. So anyway, you ask a wee web at you. It's wabbit season. No, it's duck season. It's wabbit season. It's duck season. So all we got in here watching so far, not a whole lot of people. There must be something going on tonight. 
it shows I only got 10 people watching. That's insane. We got Lord Racer. Greg's here with us. Chicago Cubby Bear. Valley Park's with us here. Mongo McD. Uh, let's see. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, good that cross-eyed idiot. Uh, much love to you, the wife and children, and the whole crew. Everybody, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, good to see you. Julio Lua, Dean, HD, Ahoy, he says. He must be at sea. We use naval terminology up here on the International Fake Station as well. We getting out there okay? Everything's good? It looks like it. We're five by five on all platforms. We only got 10 people. Is there something going on on YouTube that I'm not aware of tonight? That maybe is capturing someone else's attention? <laughs> Regardless, either way, the show will go on. So we started last night. And I'll just go ahead and I'm going to start the thing over because of where it started at. This guy kind of goes through the introduction. Did anybody out there get a chance to see this at all? Uh, let's see. He was listening last night to, oh, to, to Luca. Luca might show up. Luca might show up. It's hard to say who might show up here. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get with this where it starts. And here, we'll just, because we only got six minutes into it. I didn't realize how late it was and it's, this isn't shouldn't take too long. Um, I wish these guys would jazz up their introduction a little bit, you know, uh, just a little bit because kind of dry. But we'll bear with it. So let's see, what do I have to do to bring that up here tonight? Oh, do, 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 do. There it is. And it looks like we're ready to rock and roll with that. Wooka fud. <laughs> You guys, you guys are just so mean. You're just so fucking mean. Why you guys got to be so mean? Well, look at there. No sound. Why do we have no sound? What is going on? I know. I know what has happened. Just a moment here. Now, how was I getting that before? And I'm not getting it now. Let me stop sharing that for a minute. This is weird. Y'all are getting my sound, right? So I don't understand why this isn't giving sound. Let me just go out and back in. That's really weird. Yeah, there it is. Wow, really strange. I think this is pretty well close enough. That was really weird. What would this so what? There's only two people watching? What is going on here? We're all effed up. Let me just take a look here real quick. Wait a second. Is what well, there gotta be more than two people watching this stream right now? There has to be. Why is this showing only one watching? What is going on? How could that be possible? This is only showing one person watching, two watching right now. That's insane because there's all these people here in the chat and this thing's only showing two people. This is fucking crazy. What's going on? Anyway, I'm not going to worry none about it. I see all in there. I'm keeping track of the chat. That's YouTube is up to its old tricks. No doubt, man. What is up with that? Only you got to be shitting me here, y'all. You got to be shitting me. This is crazy. Anyway, I think we should be good now. Then or now, and it didn't happen. All claimed evidence that you will hear tonight to solidify the belief that we landed on the moon will be unverifiable. We'll discuss a lot of different topics, and a lot of different anomalies <laughs> that have led us to believe the path of doubting the moon landing. Now, the nail in the coffin, which I don't really want to start here since T jumps out of the room, I'll mention it, uh, but people came for content of the debate, so I don't want to just end it in 10 minutes by discussing, right? Can't have gas pressure without a vacuum, without a physical container. 
Uh, so maybe that's another topic for another day. But first and foremost, with the moon, we have no idea what the moon is, which would mean that we have no idea if it is, in fact, terra firma. We didn't know then, we don't know now, which in turn would mean that we don't know the distance to the moon since the distance has never been measured. So how in 1969 did we have the information required to accomplish such a feat, such as the distance, or even knowing if it is terra firma? It's kind of easy because we didn't. Uh, seemingly on the flat earth debate side of things through Witsit, Nathan, a couple other people, I'll throw my name on there. Um, we've successfully falsified the presupposed R value, which you would need for orbital mechanic aspects to reaching the moon in the first place. Now, how do we get? All right, hold on, MCAX. Did you just change that to uh, subscriber only or or uh, slow mode and all that? Turn that back off. I don't want that on there. Am I going to have to do that myself? Let me take a look here, because I don't want that. Who changed it to that? Permissions. Let me see. How do I how do I get that to quit? Why did you do that? God damn it. I don't want to be in YouTube. What the fuck is going on with this thing? Who turned this off? Who's turning the fucking chats? Stop all the slow who's changing that? I'm gonna take away everybody's fucking moderator shit. Who's changing it, ZXL? Who's changing it? I'm serious, man. See, this is crazy. This is crazy. Who the fuck is screwing with my shit? I'm going to go in right now and take away everybody's goddamn wrenches. Just if this shit's going to keep on. What the hell is going on here? How is this? Okay, yeah, I don't want none of that changed unless I ask about that. All right. Anyway, back to where we were at. Into the moon. Well, rockets, right? Well, what about the tyranny of the rocket equation? The rocket equation is a fundamental principle in aeronaut, uh, astronautics, which dictates the amount of propellant required to reach a destination increase exponentially with the distance and velocity desired. This poses significant challenges for space travel, especially for missions to distant celestial bodies like the moon or beyond. The immense amount of fuel required for logistical complexities inherent in the rocket equation cast down on the feasibility of manned missions to the moon using the technology available, uh, especially during the Apollo era. Now, the long, so long or the short of it is the tyranny of the rocket equation says that the longer the distance, the more the fuel, which means that the rocket is now heavier, which equates to more fuel to lift the heavier rocket up. And we basically just kind of leave ourselves in a starting point of needing more fuel. It's too heavy, so we need more fuel. So how do they overcome this in 1969 if it is in fact still in contention today? Well, what about the infamous retro reflectors that were allegedly placed on the moon during the Apollo missions to facilitate laser ranging experiments? Uh, well, however, we know that as early as 1962, we bounced lasers off the moon before any claimed retro reflectors were placed there. Um, da -da -da, sorry, I lost my place here. Uh, That's true. I think the Soviets were bouncing shit uh, saying they were bouncing lasers or some shit off the moon in like 1962 or something like that uh, yeah okay sorry so this we can conclude that since lasers could be bounced off the moon prior to any claim that a retroflector was placed there is sufficient enough uh, evidence to falsify this claim of course as stated uh, above 
Uh, we've not measured the one-way speed of light, so they couldn't know the distance. Uh, several physicists have pointed out that while relatively, relativity assumes the vacuum speed of light is the universal constant, it also shows that the speed can never be measured, specifically, specifically relativity forbids you from measuring the time it takes light to travel from point A to point B. Uh, we can thank uh, Ron Zucal uh, for his paper in 2015, Reconsidering Relativity. Uh, what if we look at the so-called photo and video evidence of the moon landing? We see issues right off the bat. The lack of the blast crater from the lander itself. So, you all, this is crazy as shit. Uh, YouTube unsubscribe me from everything. Anyone else? I don't know. Let me take a look. This is crazy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck YouTube's doing. This is nuts. Let me look on here real quick. Bear with me, folks. Wait, that's not what I want. I'm going to edit that. There. That's what it's supposed to do. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Wait. No way. I got to do this. Do that. Go. Oh, I see. That's how that goes. All right, there. Now, man, everything got all fucked up on here. Let me double look here to see if all my subscriptions. Let me see what's in here. Wow, man. All my subscriptions are fucking gone. Is this happening with anybody else, too? This is crazy. I don't have any subscriptions. Is this happening with anybody else? What's up, facts? Hello. You're muted. No, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Yeah, um, they unsubbed me. I, I, I just looked and I, I thought, why am I not subscribed to your channel? I, I'll just resubscribe. I'll check my channel on my phone. I, I, mind, I, <clears throat> I don't think uh, they bother uh, uh, unsubscribing anyone to my channel. I've only got. Well, I just, I just looked at my subscriptions. I went over down to my page. I looked under my subscriptions, and there's nothing. Yeah. Um, I was shocked. I'm checking now on my channel. Uh, now I've got them listed over on the left, all my subscriptions. But as far as like yep. how they show up as tiles, they're not in here. Wonder what the fuck is going on with with YouTube? This is crazy. What's it saying? We got what we? I know we got more than two people. Because just if I go here to participants in this chat right here, I got Charles Arnold, Chicago Cubby Bear, Chris Fitzpatrick, Greg B, in Rem, Julio Lua, Keelan Prudhomme, Level 3, Level is in here, uh, MCAX is with us, Martin, <laughs> Mario C, Mike Finnan, Mongo McD, Super Sidewinder, uh, no longer on the ball, post anything too. Richard White, RPB 68s with us, Saddle Bump, uh, Stupid, Super Spiro, Taking Back Eden is with us, the uh, Fallen Slaves uh, Us All is with us, let's see, the True Few, Tony Coriolis, that's a hell of a lot, and ZXL Master in Valley Parks, I mean, that's a hell of a lot more than, you know, two, <laughs> I'd have to say, so... Does anybody else no. look? I'm subscribed to you, but all my subscriptions are gone. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Wow, it's crazy. No, I've got all mine. I've got all 176 of my subscribers still. What's it say? Keenan says, let's see. God, it says, uh, you hit F5 to refresh and then look at how many people oh, are listed. That's right. Right. Hang on. I mean, shit, I'm just seeing all these chats are, are uh, whipping by. Um, so, you know, <laughs> it tells me somebody's fucking up. 
Is this happening with other channels right now? It didn't happen to my I channel. Uh, I've only got 176 subscribers, so I don't think they're bothered with mine. Let me see what my um. Let's see, I have a thing open here. Let me go back to here. Go to my dashboard. Yeah, it's still showing uh, 1,973 subscribers. So it must be, maybe they're doing some kind of an upgrade or something, or maybe they're getting ready. Um, yeah, that's what I see. It's, it's still up there. Let's see, fucking up big time. Hey, Dave, can you do a poll? What kind of a poll would you like me to do, Mongo? I can indeed do a poll. I can indeed. Which kind of a poll would you like me to do? <laughs> and then we'll get back on with this moon landing thing. This is nuts. I never saw YouTube do this before. This is crazy. Reboot YouTube. Maybe that's what they did. They turned it off and turned it back on real quick. Oh, my God. Well, I'll keep my eyes out for whatever Mongo's wanting to do a poll on. And then perhaps we will do that. But anyway, let me go on back over to this and start it again. Or uh, if the lunar module indeed landed on the moon's surface with the force required to breach its gravitational pull, why is there no discernible evidence of such impact? How about the lack of stars absent in the background from videos and photographs? Yet there are also inconsistencies in the testimony of multiple astronauts. Some say, yes, we can see stars while we're up there on the moon, out in outer space, while others say that we cannot. Despite the absence of the supposed atmospheric interference on the moon, some, <coughs> excuse me, despite the absence of atmospheric interference on the moon, uh, this inconsistency raises questions about the accuracy of their observations and the credibility of their testimonies. Now, if the stars were indeed visible in the vacuum of space, as they're claimed to be, as they should be, why did some astronauts claim otherwise? So for my opponent tonight, which astronaut will you be willing to call a liar and why? Uh, how about the lack of matching footprints on the surface that when the supposed astronauts' boots that walked on the moon, their footprint did not match that well, which was in the museum? Um, we can also confront the issue of radiation exposure beyond Earth's protective atmosphere. Studies of the Van Allen radiation belt suggest that passage through these intense radiation zones would have posed insurmountable risks to the health and safety of the astronauts. How, then, do we reconcile the apparent absence of radiation sickness or long-term health effects among the Apollo astronauts? Without any protection, astronauts are more likely to have both acute and chronic health problems, such as cataracts and heart diseases. Uh, additionally, they may suffer from short-term radiation illness and risks of cancer developed in long term. This is, of course, based on a person's age, gender, uh, and this is from Smithsonian's, Smithsonian Magazine. Well, we should be able to analyze the data from the telemetry that, to understand how it was done in 1969. Oh, shit. They lost it. Damn it. Uh, well, perhaps we can examine the original moon landing footage. There must be reels of film that we could examine that would put this debate to bed, right? Oh, <laughs> no, sorry. They recorded over that too. Lost it. Maybe on the next one. Furthermore, the technolog technological limitations of the 1960s raised legitimate concerns about the feasibility of safely transporting humans to the moon and back with computing power less than that of a modern day smartphone. But I'll do you one better. The computer on the lunar lander had a 2048 word of erasable magnetic core memory and 36,864 words of read only core rope memory. So let's do some conversions. If we took 3,072 bytes of RAM to 8 kilobytes of RAM, we first have to understand the conversion. So 1 kilobyte is a 20, uh, 1,024 bytes. So 8 kilobytes of RAM is 8 times 1,024 bytes, which is. 8,192 bytes. Now, if we compare that, 372 bytes is less than 8,192 bytes, almost two times less. So why did I convert it to 8 kilobytes of RAM? Well, 8 kilobytes of built-in working RAM up to 16 8 kilobyte switchable working RAM pages for a maximum of 128 kilobytes of external RAM is what was available to the Nintendo Game Boy in 1989, 20 years later. So what you have to tell me then is that the lunar lander had less than half of the RAM capabilities of the gray brick in 1989, but we can't figure out how to do it today. <coughs> uh, last but not least, of course, we had the moon rocks. They brought back the moon rocks. They're like, 
It's the oh, one minute. Got you. Brought back the moon rocks, so we must have gone. Actually, not the moon rocks. They were presented to the um, prime minister of the Netherlands. That turned out to be petrified wood. There's articles on that. Uh, in conclusion, as we embark on this debate, let us keep an open mind and approach the evidence with a spirit of skepticism tempered by reason and avoid ad hominems and logical fallacies. A quest for the truth demands nothing less. And my favorite part of this debate with my interlocutor is that he cannot deny any of the videos in which I'm going to show tonight. So thank you so much. All right. Well, thank you as well, big country, for being here. Welcome to Modern Day Debate. Uh, we welcome new speakers here and uh, also welcome you in the live chat. Uh, uh, thank you for being here and joining us for our, our discussion. Uh, just want to welcome you all here. We're a neutral platform hosting debates on science, politics, religion. We hope that you like it enough to hit the like button and share it out in those spaces you like having these discussions. We do have a live event that's coming up. We're going to talk about that after T-Jump's opening statement. So T-Jump, you have 10 minutes on the floor. All right, so I listened to some of what the opponent said. The first thing he said is, we've reflected lasers off of, I know, this is the second thing, that we've reflected lasers off the moon, therefore the reflectors are fake. Um, I don't know how little research he's done on this, but yeah, we can reflect lasers off the moon. That's pretty easy. It's a big rock. The problem is the reflectors bounce the lasers back in the direction they are sent from. So any direction you shoot a laser at the reflector, it will then take that laser and bounce it directly back in the direction you reflected it from. Reflecting laser off the moon doesn't do that. It doesn't work that. It's a big ball. It's made of rock. It doesn't reflect things back directly in the direction that you shoot something at it. Not how it works, but it does for these reflectors. And the only things that do this are man-made. Congratulations. There isn't some special nature mirror that automatically reflects things back in the way they came. Only then how did the Russians do it? Only man-made objects do this, so there necessarily are man-made objects on the moon. Problem. Wait a second. Wait a second. Only man-made objects can reflect. That's what you're telling me. So where's the fucking light coming from that we see on the moon? T jump. If only man-made objects can reflect light. What? Stepping on your own dick already, buddy. Oh come on, you prick. I'm solved. He said, uh, for longer distance, you need more fuel. That is wrong. That is literally not the case. The objects that have the greatest distance have no fuel left. They don't have any fuel. They're, they're just floating because objects in motion remain in motion. Newton's very first law. Thank you, Newton, debunking first from thousands of years ago. Amazing. So, no, you don't actually need more fuel to travel longer distances. You need more fuel to change directions at longer distances. Um, so that one was debunked. Oh, no. so I don't remember the other thing you said. Yes, there are some moon rocks that have been proved to be petrified wood. Is this evidence that all of them are? No, it's a very stupid argument. How can we tell the difference between petrified wood and a moon rock? Um, there are, I forget what they're called. There's a big word for it, but it's hydrogen compounds or hydrogen and oxygen compounds are found in earth rocks, all of them. They are not found in moon rocks, any of them, because there wasn't any at their formation. There, you know, therefore, you know which ones are moon rocks and which ones are real rocks. Okay, yeah, it just mixed it up with something. Um, just to give you a little bit of an update, I just went over and looked. Okay, so like Karen B right now, um, her and Mark Sargent are doing Strange World, and it shows only two watching. <laughs> and we know better than that, right? Um, Space Audits is doing a live. It's showing no viewers. Sob's Place is showing no viewers. Um, missing link is only showing one. We're live on rumble is only showing one on, uh, hoax wars. So everything I'm looking at that's live, the only now even live now from Fox is, is showing only 89 people watching. So this is crazy. Let me just go ahead and show you this real quick. I'm going to put that down for a second. This is nuts. I've never seen YouTube act that way. But here's what we got. Okay. So you can look right here. Here's uh match room pool, 34 watching, uh, 33 watching, 89. But look at here, one watching on the missing link. Karen B one watching. This is insane. Look at there's only six showing six over here on creep creeps McPasta. Um, even Fox News right here is showing only 89 watching. Tim Tim uh Timcast 431 
114. Seven on McToon. McToon's only got seven guys watching his show right now. So they're fucking up somehow. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. But yeah, here come the aliens, right? Absolutely. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you all that. So it is, it's not just us. It's easy to no. show. It might. It's easy to think that we might be a little paranoid, but, uh, uh, you know, we're not. We just got it. What were you going to say, Fax? Yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely up to something because uh, it's been all over the place, YouTube, lately. Um, not No notifications, buffering out all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what it is. Um, maybe the, what you said, they're just changing the format or rebooting it or doing something like that. It's not always what we go straight to the worst. That it's, uh, you know, they suppressing stuff or it's against the content we're uh you know presenting yeah uh, yeah youtube not to be trusted but it's one of the most it is the only platform where you know you get the most people watching i think right well let's see i'm trying to look um let's see over on my other where i got youtube hooked up at um no, there's nothing coming in. No email going out to everybody from it about it. So what the fuck is going on? This is crazy. I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out, though. Uh, Dateline has 32 watching, and it's never less than 6,000. I can believe that. Uh, I got one top message here. Yeah, yeah, put it on regular chat and you'll see them. I mean, yeah, this is crazy. I've never seen this go down like this. But anyway, we're not going to let it dissuade us. Stick in there, warriors. We got this. He, Earth rocks. Because I think ZXL Master said something about that they did a software update. I don't know if he was kidding. Had to resub to Karen B. Did you really? I should look again and see. That's insane. Let me take a look. I'm going to put it over here live. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Let me see. I should be subbed. Something went wrong when I tried to go to her page. Holy shit. Wait a second. No, I'm still in subscribe. Okay, I'm still there. My subscriptions show up over in the sidebar when I show that there. Or at least they did earlier. Now they're not. <laughs> wow I wonder what's going on this is kind of I don't know it's weird for you I know isn't this crazy I wonder what they're doing to us man because all earth rocks have this water stuff water based compounds in it and moon rocks don't so we can tell which ones are which problem solved all of the garbage he said about the moon landing has been debunked a billion times. There's literally just no point in going over. Just, just watch, what was it? Uh, the show with Adam, or whatever, where they did this. It's Adam Conover. He debunked this. And then the the guy with the weird hat and the orange-haired guy, they're com comedians who did myth Mythbusters. They debunked it. So all of those fair ideas have been debunked, and they, just, they should just die. Just move on, get a new hobby. Um See what else we can bounce ham radio waves off of the moon. Like you can send radio waves, travel at the speed of light. They can hit the moon and they'll come back. You can receive them. So we know how far away the moon is, how big the moon is, where the moon is. And there's nothing around the moon. Like, cause if there was something else there, the other things would also bounce the radio waves back. Cause radio waves are just massive things that just go in all the directions. And so if it hit anything else other than the moon in the general vicinity, like a big dome of some kind, a flurf dome, we're going to call it the flurf dome, it would bounce the radio waves back and would receive a signal. If the radio waves went through it and hit something behind it, like if there was nothing there, and then only came back from that one point, we know it's an object. That's how we... Have you ever tried bouncing it off of an empty area? Just shoot it up there and see what happens. I yeah. bet not. I mean, that's a really bold claim. You know how big the moon is, you know how far. Well, yeah. Not just that, signal attenuation over uh, a quarter of a million miles. Yeah. 
Is it, you know, 250,000 miles away uh, or 237,000, you might as well say a quarter of a million miles. Um, you know, they, do they not understand what attenuation is? <laughs> what happens to a light beam or radio signal um, on that wavelength of light? What happens to it over a, a distance like that? Even a laser. You shoot a, a little pinpoint laser and it, it'll show up at a distance if it goes that far. But it would show up the size of a city block at its target or bigger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. By the time it went that distance. And then so I say these people got cartoon minds. They're, they're like they had they're like their fucking mind is it. Yeah, I think the stuff that my subs came back to Julio um showing we got 16 17 watching now so they're fixing shit but they unsubbed me so uh, i mean it, if they've unsubbed me i wouldn't be surprised if they've unsubbed all of your subs well i'm showing still 1973 let me refresh it yeah i'm still showing 1973 subs on my oh, dashboard okay, right, yeah, so we're good yeah all right, here we go. I think I think they've they've figured it out and maybe fixed it. I don't know. That's how radar works. It's just, it's just radar. And we know it's radar because it's the exact same radar we use with submarines. But radio waves are radar are radio. So we can tell for sure that the moon is there. The correct distance it is. Uh, it's solid. It's a rock. We have samples of the rocks. We can prove that the samples do come from the moon because they don't have any of the hydrocarbons that are in earth rocks because there wasn't any at the formation of the moon congratulations we can prove there are man-made objects on the moon because the reflectors reflect things back directly in any direction that you point the laser at it which the moon did not do before i don't remember the rest of the junk you don't need you don't need more fuel to go more distance but it's just simply false like no no objects in motion remain in motion and i'll conclude there all right. Thank you. And everybody, we are going to kick it into a Q, uh, sorry, open discussion. And I do want to remind everybody, uh, we do Q&A at the end. So if you put in a super chat, uh, we'll make sure to read those questions to our speakers. If you're listening in on podcasts where all of our debates get uploaded within 24 hours. And that bullshit about the thing going to remain in motion is in an, a, a, that's in a fictional environment that doesn't exist anywhere in nature. Sorry. Yeah, it's, no, it's just the way it rolls off his tongue. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, and it just comes straight back. And we, yeah, like it's just. And, it's and it reflects lot. back no matter what angle you shoot it at. Yeah. What? Like, what do you mean? You, you, you can, you, you got controllers down here on Earth that you can somehow move the reflector around, or what's, what are you talking about? This guy's full of shit. Half of what he said was just bullshit that he made up. Yeah, I, I agree. And you want to ask a question to one of our speakers, make sure you are hanging out and you like and subscribe to the Modern Money. Debate YouTube channel. I uh, also want to let you guys know about some exciting uh, upcoming news, which is going to be a live event in Texas. Uh, so James is going to be helping out with Minds Fest, and the links are going to be in the description. So you can see that next to me here, and uh, I can pin that in the chat as well. So let's go into an open discussion, and thank you everybody for being here. Cool. Sorry, I was on mute there. So let me just clarify real quick to jump. Um, what I said was, was that as early as 1962, we were able to reflect lasers off the moon prior to any retroflector claimed of being put there. I didn't say that they we bounce things off of retroflectors, therefore they don't exist. Um, what 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 does that have to do with what I said? You said that I had said that I we could bounce lasers off retroflectors, therefore they're not real. And well. You did not say that. What was what you were really saying? What was the argument you were making there? No. So what I said was, as early as 1962, we were able to bounce lasers off the moon prior to any retroflectors being said to have been put there. Therefore, what was the implication of that? Uh, therefore, it is not evidence to suggest that indeed we have retroflectors on the moon. Right. And so how I responded was I said, retroreflectors are objects that when you bounce a laser on it, it comes directly back in whatever direction you bounce the, you sent the laser from. So like if you sent the laser from the right, it will 
the laser will then go inside the retroreflector, bounce around, and go directly back towards wherever you sent it from. That didn't happen in any of the examples you listed before. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. I got you. So the retroreflector, uh, you're saying that we shoot a laser at a supposed retroreflector, and, the, and then the laser comes right back? Directly back, yes. That's what the retroreflectors, what they do is any direction that you hit it from a laser, it will cause it to bounce directly back in the direction that it came from. So a laser comes back, not data on a computer? Uh, yes. So, I'm sorry. To, so yes, it's a laser that comes back? Yes, the, act, the laser hits the retroreflector and the laser comes back. Okay, I've, I've, I'm, I'm unaware. I've only seen that retro. Well, that was a bit of an own goal. <laughs> Reflectors bring back data on a computer. Uh, no, it sends an actual beam of actual energized particles, which can hurt you if you if you get hit by them. Mm -hmm. Physical physical particles. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I mean, I, I, I've personally never seen this. I don't know if maybe you have an example where you could um, pull up or show. Well, if you just look at the the blueprints of the retro reflectors, what they are is they're a series of mirrors that are built into a big dome, like an internal dome, opposite dome, I don't know, concave, convex, whatever. And so the way it works is you shoot a laser inside and any direction you shoot the laser, it'll come directly back. And you can you can just build a model and show it does this. Mm -hmm have the blueprints of exactly what the retro reflectors are to know how they work right. so you can just build them and take a laser pin it'll do the same thing but you wouldn't suggest that like blueprints of something means it does exist and it is where they say it is well no the blueprints are just to show how it works because you asked how retro reflectors work so we can show how they work by here's the blueprint so you can build this thing and say if this is the thing that's on the moon then anytime you point a laser at it it will bounce it directly back in the direction you put pointed the laser at it and then you can say, well, okay, well, if that's on the moon, we use a powerful laser on any of the big laser machines, it'll do the same thing. And that's exactly mm -hmm. what we see. And it's been tested and done by uh, hundreds of different labs around the world, hundreds of different colleges, hundreds of different individuals who rent those things. Yeah, I, I'm, I, 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 listen, I hear what you're saying. I've just never seen the evidence of this actually being done. Now, they say that they do that, right? That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But I've heard arguments. Uh, that you've made in the past on on this specific debate that in fact you rent you go to an observatory and you can rent it for the night and they give you the machine that shoots the laser but sends it back to your computer with data on it is that sure, not the can, case you can just build your own if you want that's fine so then i'm not actually <laughs> receiving a laser own. directly back to me i'm shooting you a laser in a specific own. set of coordinates and then data is popping up on my computer saying yeah. this guy is so full of shit man there's certain lasers you got to get licenses to even buy them or have them man you, uh, get the fuck out of here with that I mean, you just build one you can just build one in your bag just order it from acme that you know tell them the coyote sent you jesus christ yep that's the reflector no, it's, it's a laser. I mean, things read lasers like computers. So, so it's a laser and you can build your own computer to read the laser if you want. And then it won't just be a computer screen. It's an actual laser. If you have a sensitive enough eyes, you'll see the laser. I don't know if you, I don't, I doubt you do, but you can. If you have a little sheet, there's certain retro reactive sheets or something. I forget what they're called. If you put the laser in front of it, it'll leave little dots on the sheet because when laser hits it, it causes a reaction in the paper that causes little dots. You, you can use whatever medium you want to read the laser. Sure. I, I mean, I, I would love to actually see this, right? I, I, I'm i not familiar with it at all. You can do it. You can just go to the lab and be like, hey, I'm a flurf. Could you show me how this works? And I'll show, <laughs> show you. All right, Why man. do you guys say flurfs? I don't get it. It's a funny sounding word. It's, it's like it might, potato. It might be good to move on from this one. I think we've uh, discussed the lasers. Uh, you remind me of an old 2000s meme. I'm a fire in my laser, if anybody knows what that's from. So let's carry on and uh, talk about the technology which you brought up there, big country. I wish they'd put James on as moderator. This guy's kind of goofy. Yeah. Technology? Uh, I think the second thing was the you need more fuel to go longer distance or something. Yeah, the tyranny of the rocket equation. Yeah, so it's, it's simply false. You don't need you don't need more fuel to go longer distances. As long as you get outside of the pull of gravity, you can go as far as you want, and you'll never stop with zero fuel. Oh, horse shit! <laughs> What's so, up, Greg? Okay, so I do. I, do you remember this? 
I've shown this before on your channel. This is the 1966 National Geographic magazine, and they talk about um, reflections off the moon prior to uh, anything being deposited there or placed there by freaking NASA. Do you remember this? Uh, yeah. What year is that? It's 19. It's uh, volume 130, number six, December 1966. G yeah. National Geographic. See, that so, was that's three years pre prior to even going up there. It's yeah, but remember th in the article they talk about things being prior to five years prior or something like that. Shit, this yeah, I've used this so many times to show to people. It's like it's it's falling apart. Like, yeah, yeah, stuff. I've got some old ones like that too that are coming apart. I got one that so old that there's not even really a picture on the cover. It's just a yeah. Like, luckily, I, I put it in its own little folder. That one's from shit, the twenty. Like here's one page. I just it's just falling apart. But it, it talks about stuff I think from 19, 1959 even being tested. I have to put this back together. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> it's falling it's, apart. It really is falling apart. I should just put a bookmark in there and just leave it as it is and scan it. Yeah, scan yeah, yeah. The laser's enormous advantage mm -hmm. lies in its almost perfectly parallel or culminated radiation when passed through a telescope in reverse the beam diverges as little as a third uh, let's see four years ago from 1966 is that what it said yeah that's four, 62. four years ago a ruby laser considerably smaller than those now available shot a series of pulses at the moon 240,000 miles away the beams illuminated a spot less than two miles in diameter and were reflected back to Earth by enough strength to be measured by ultra-sensitive electronic equipment. The beam <laughs> of a high, quali <laughs> high quality of ser searchlight, um, if it reached that far, would spread out to be several times the moon's 2,160-mile uh, diameter. Such fantastic... I don't know, but... They did this shit before they put anything on there to reflect it. I just right, right. On that comes it. down to it. So that just shows old T-Jump here full of shit once again. Yeah, it looks scratching his head. I don't know what you mean. So here, T-Jump tries to talk like he knows what he's talking about, so people think he knows what he is talking about. He don't know anything except the books he regurgitates. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah, right. Yeah, there you go. That's all I got. Why they why they talk about using uh, solar cells and shit? You know, how do you you got to change direction? How do you navigate? How the fuck do you navigate in space? Think about that. Once you're in space, how do you navigate? How the hell do you know where you're even at, man? You don't know where you're at. We don't know head. where to go. Oh, look, there's Jupiter. Let's head toward it. Right. Come on. And you just keep going. What about the gravity of all these other bodies out there pulling and tugging and shit? This guy, he's a dumber in hell. Okay, so it says here the tyranny, part of the term emphasizes the significant challenges posed by the by this equation. To increase a rocket's payload capacity or velocity. Engineers must uh, engineers often need to design larger and more powerful rockets, which in turn require even more fuel. This creates a cycle of escalating cost, technical complexity, and diminishing returns. Uh, overcoming the constraints imposed by the rocket equation is one of the central challenges in the space exploration and rocket engineering. So, what do you know what a payload that? is? Uh huh. What is it? It's the it's the device that they're traveling with. Yeah, just the amount of weight it can lift off the ground. Mm hmm. And so, it, it, obviously, if you're stuck to a big planet and you want to carry more weight, you need more fuel to get off the ground. But what it didn't say there was distance. It was, okay. didn't mention distance once. So you can take any object of any weight, and it can travel infinitely far as long as you get it moving because objects in motion remain in motion. And so maybe you just misspoke and you added distance there accidentally. But, yeah, it definitely takes more fuel to get things off the ground that are heavier agreed but it doesn't take more fuel to travel longer that is not the trick not the case well, that's presupposed <laughs> sorry i went down the wrong tube. <laughs> but that's presupposed right you're talking about gravity's being gravity pulling in pulling you in and 
with other planets and stuff, right? That's this is what you're talking about. No, like like if I'm traveling space. in a distance in space, uh-huh. <laughs> right? Yeah, and I happen to skirt by a planet. How the fuck do you get out of the container to get there in the first place? That's what, and what are you pushing against? You know, once you're going in a one direction, I guess, then that's it. You're done. <laughs> I don't know how you'd end up changing your direction or anything else. Greg, thanks for coming up. I just noticed that you popped out of here. Um, wow. Yeah. How do you even change? How do you navigate? You know, this is, they don't think about any of that. They just wish they lived in Star Trek or some shit. Right. The the force of said supposed gravity could change my trajectory. Yeah. Right, but that's all presupposed. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. So the the first law of physics, objects in motion remain in motion. It's just mm-hmm. that if you're without like another force like gravity or something, you're just going to keep going. It's just not the case that you need more fuel to travel further. And the thing is all called the Cassini, the Cassini uh, rockets or Cassini satellites that they send off in both directions. They're just going and going. And they've gone farther than any other human built thing in the solar system. And they have no. What about Voyager? Remember Voyager? Yeah, that was what they sent. It. Yeah, yeah, they sent that out. I remember when they actually sent Voyager out. There's Voyager one, Voyager two, and it had like a gold record on there of Earth sounds. Like I guess that the Mar- the aliens would know how to extrapolate that into a turntable or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the, the, yeah, you're it wouldn't it? Yeah, it was Star Trek when they the movie star trek where they went out into uh there was this thing it merged itself with alien technology and become like it was coming back home <laughs> and they were calling it viger because it was smudged i don't know what from but something had smudged the name and so the the o and the y were wiped off or you couldn't see it and it was just v g e r and the thing is, like, how would you come through the what they call like the atmosphere and it's burning up? How would you land a, a rocket on a well, what according to them, a spinning globe going a thousand miles an hour, spin it on a thousand miles an hour? How would you know where to land it? And that, you know, how would you land something that's going a thousand miles an hour? I don't see how that they can't have it both ways if the atmosphere is spinning with the globe according to them and they're coming <laughs> through and got a land a sh- uh, rocket on that H- how do you make the calculations for that i don't know man they just yeah they have computers <laughs> <laughs> it's called it's called really good engineering listen i don't even know how the hell they get, could get out of the earth system in the first place okay there's no way to do any such thing. Um, and until somebody can show me uh, another way to have a volume of gases without containment, um, it's going to remain so that we are enclosed. That's all there is to it. And also, would you take a risk going all the way up there with a certain amount of fuel and and maybe you got the calculations wrong, but now you haven't got the fuel to get back. Like it's just right. so. <laughs> yeah, I mean that makes perfect sense. Right. It's like that one night Br- Brenda was talking. This she's you know I'd I'd go to Mars in a, in just a you know in a minute. I would go if they offered. And I was like, well, you know, have you really thought this out? You know, have you really thought this out? Let's suppose it was possible. How long of a flight is that? <laughs> years. Months, years, whatever. Yeah. A year and a half, something like that. Yeah. Anyway, poor bastard to be sitting on that thing, eating dried up pouch food, drinking tang re- made with recycled urine. <laughs> yeah. And you got to go, you know, wait a minute, man. You know, once we get there, then what? You, you're not coming back. You're definitely not coming back. All your all your fuel is used up on blast off to begin with. That's why they 
drop those stages and everything, right? So yeah. you've already blasted off and you've lost it. You don't have any fuel, so you're not coming back. So what are you going to do now for the rest of your life on the red planet? Put on your little space suit and go outside and bounce around and what? You know, it's going to get old pretty soon, pretty quick. I mean, Jesus, you got these people don't really think these things out at all. No, I mean, you can't be that unhappy on earth that you'd want to leave and go and to a place that no one's ever been. You don't know anything about it. it yeah, yeah, the belief that, that they have in, in, in this globe or system yeah. is, is beyond. I just, yeah, I'm just well, and, the, and the reality is, right here is the most amazing things that you'll ever see in your life. You could live three, four, five lifetimes and and travel the world and still never see everything. You know, yeah. there's so many different uh, exotic creatures and wonders of nature and uh, just rivers, just, lakes, uh, mountains, loads yeah. of things. Yeah. And they're all different at different times of the seasons and years. There's so, yeah. so much to do. These people have probably never left their front room <laughs> working from home now. Oh, and look, it, we uh, popped up to 45. We're, we have 45 viewers now. That's pretty cool. Uh, YouTube's yeah, fixing yeah. it. They're fixing it. Jesus. It's 400 degrees. Yeah, right. Let's go. Why would anybody want to do that? Yeah, yeah, the dude's on uh, during takeoff instead of, and I've got video, I'll have to dig it out, of um, people being subjected to G-forces in one of those G-force simulators, man. And dudes pass out quicker and shit, quicker and shit. Well, the walks are at the fairgrounds, uh, enough for me. <laughs> well, yeah, first. right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not much on being stuck up against shit. Yeah. That but these yeah they're in some kind of a centrifugal force machine, and uh, chosen man they're trying. He's like hold your head up, and the guy's like this. He's going, I am. <laughs> he's like his head's over like this. He goes, I am holding my head up. It's like no, you're not at all. They just I mean, don't. Yeah, that's that's going to loosen. No, go ahead. What? No, I was just going to say that sort of G force. That's going to loosen teeth, damage your internal organs. Um, oh yeah, God. I can't see how that's going to work out too good. No, I, it wouldn't get me on one of those fucking things for nothing. And I, I don't think there's anybody on them anyway. I really don't. Oh, look, at it. we're going to get the circle going. of despair. In the sky vacuum. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't know why it's funny. It's pretty obvious. Like, sky Air bottom dense, air top not dense. Keep going, less dense, less dense, no air. No container? No container. You don't need a container. Can you prove that? Yes. With a test? Yep, and carbon dioxide. So, like, you take take a box, take some, like, colored gas, mm -hmm. pour the colored gas in the box. If it's heavier than, say, like, helium or something, it'll just fall to the bottom, and then you'll just have a little gas with gas pressure, and then you'll have nothing above it with the zero pressure, and it'll just sit there. Forever, or well, I mean, until you, until you break it or something. So the gas will never leave that open container. So you're nope, saying? because it's pulled down by gravity. So because there's heavy gases and light gases, if you have a heavy gas, um, if you pour it and you color it and you pour it into a container in a complete vacuum, it'll just stay in the container because it's a heavy gas. Just... You are so full of shit. Put it in. You no, know, is he really suggesting that that would work? I want to talk to this clown. Show me that. Let me back that up just a minute. 2311. They actually believe this, though. They, they, wholeheartedly, they really believe what they're saying, and that's the most alarming thing for me. This is insane. Listen to this guy. Gas, mm -hmm. or the colored gas in the box. Motion, remain in motion. It's just mm -hmm. that if you're without, like, another force like gravity or something you're just going to keep going it's just not the case that you need more fuel to travel further and the thing is all called the cassini the cassini uh rockets or cassini satellites that they send off in both directions they're just going and going and they've gone further than any other human 
built thing in the solar system and they have no fuel they have zero fuel they they just they just don't don't have anything to propel them they're just going in the sky vacuum yep <laughs> okay <laughs> okay that's fine that's fine right. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know why it's funny it's pretty obvious like air bottom dense air top not dense keep going less dense less dense no air no container no container you don't need a container can you prove that yes with a test Yep, from carbon dioxide. So, like, you take take a box, take some like colored gas, mm -hmm. or the colored gas in the box if it's heavy. Well, colored gas. You can't color gas, but okay. Heavier than, say, like helium or something, it'll just fall in, to the bottom, and then you'll just have a little gas with gas pressure, and then you'll have nothing above it with zero pressure, and it'll just sit there forever. No, it will not. No, it will not. What is he now? What in the fuck is he even talking or, about? Or, well, I mean, until you, until you break it or something. So the gas will never leave that open container. So you're nope. saying? Because it's pulled down by gravity. So if because there's heavy gases and light gases, if you have a heavy gas, um, if you pour it and you color it, and you pour it into a container in a complete vacuum, it'll just stay. How do you color a gas? You can't color a gas. Sorry, bud. You can disperse particles of dye within the gas, but it isn't dyeing the gas. The particles may very well settle on the bottom, but the gas is not. So, no, I'm sorry, T-Jump. You're full of shit. Stay in the container because it's a heavy gas. It'll just float to the bottom and stick there. And there'll be zero of the gas that blows up because it's heavy. And you said, say, sorry, say that one more time. If you if you put it in a what? Uh, like a container without a top. So just like four or like a glass fish fishbowl with no top. So you put a fishbowl with no top. When it's colored, you can actually see it pooling at the bottom and it won't go up. So there's a vacuum because there's no top, but you can see it's it. If you did, got rid of the container, it would just go to the bottom. It's not a vacuum. A vacuum is a privation of matter. Oh, I would love to go up against this fucking idiot. Bottom of the room and there, you wouldn't be able to see it because it'd just be so big. But if you keep like a little container there, like a, gl a glass jar that's open, you can actually see it pool at the bottom. So, but it's in a container, right? Is what you're, is what you're telling me? No, because there's no top, which means there's a direct connection to a vacuum. There's no vacuum. So that gas would stay indefinitely in said open container is what you're telling me. Yeah, because of gravity. It's just going to sit there at the bottom. It's never going to expand. It's never going to go up. It's just going to stay in the container the entire time forever until you get rid of the vacuum. Yeah, I think that's not even kind of true. <laughs> it's been proven. We literally have done this. In you've, many of the different things, yes. Okay, so so you've pressurized gas. What? So we were just taking gas, like heavy gases, like like sulfur hexafluoride, or sure. And we just synthetic gas, but whatever. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Just any heavy gas you want. Take it into a like a, a jar of any kind. Go to a vacuum chamber, big one. Suck out all the air. And then just like take a hose and just pour it in or whatever slowly, and it'll just fall to the bottom of if you want a fishbowl or something so that it goes, it stays and you can see it. Because if you just do it in the room, you're never going to see it. If you put a fishbowl there with no top, so there's a direct connection to the vacuum, and you just pour it in very slowly, it'll just fall no, it to the bottom won't. of the fishbowl. No, it will not it'll show that. I want to not see continue that. to expand. Like it had, there's a maximum rate of expansion. I want to see that. <clears throat> I want to see that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I I I I call bullshit. This guy is what? From the electrons to the protons and the neutrons. Mm -hmm. And that's how big it's gonna get. It's gonna get no bigger. And because of its weight, it's gonna fall to the bottom. So there's gonna be a bunch of these atoms that are stuck on the bottom. They're gonna be really expanded, but they're gonna be stuck on the bottom and they're never gonna move because they're heavy. And this is in a vacuum. This is in a vacuum chamber, right? Yep. yep. How do we achieve a vacuum chamber on Earth? Just to uh, inject, fellas, uh, just to remind our audience uh, how this uh, interacts with the argument uh, of whether the moon landing is a hoax or not. Uh, 
our, uh, our gas and our vacuum. So uh, carry on, gents, just uh, if you can remind our audience uh, how this ties in. Uh, I mean, there's, we can there's no we can space, change gear. I, I did say no moon. I, I did say I did say earlier that this was like not necessarily something I wanted to get into. I had mentioned that, but we wouldn't. We I mean, it's up to you, TJ. We can move on. As, I mean, I feel like we're just going to keep going in circles. If there's no space, then clearly the moon landing was fake. Like, duh. Mm-hmm. Like it's kind of, oh, that would kind of an that important would part. That would, that would tie it in, yeah. Um, but yeah, so how do we create a vacuum? I would have told, I would have asked him right there. I say, you show me that. I want to see an experiment where you slowly pour a dense gas into a vacuum chamber and it goes down to the bottom and just stays there. Like, oh, I want to see that. Definitely want to see that vacuum chamber on Earth. Um, Is it in the container? Pump, yes, we create a big container and we pump out all the air. And did you, did you say that slower or? Yeah, so, so we have a container to keep the air out. We suck yeah. all of the air out. So then you have yeah. a vacuum, right? Right. 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 And so then we have gas in this vacuum. This gas doesn't expand everywhere in the vacuum. It's... How do you have gas in a vacuum? stays in a very small part of the bottom right right but it fills the available volume equal no. to its equal no. to its uh no. buoyancy level no it just so it doesn't it does, so if i pour gas in it doesn't just stay in a pocket it goes to the edges of the available volume that would equal its equilibrium no it no, goes it to the bottom it just it just stays in a pocket in the bottom it just goes to the bottom so it'll never go up Never goes up, never expands, doesn't expand to the buoyancy level. It just goes to the bottom and sits there. It feels the available volume of its, uh, of the, bo- on the bottom of the container, it fills the available volume equal sure. to its equilibrium. Sure. If you because gas it. is omnidirectional. <laughs> no, that's the part that you're getting wrong. No, it's not. That's the part you're getting wrong, TJ. Take the sides of the fucking container away. And you're not going to do that. And I'm sorry, that's not going to happen in a vacuum. No. It's not omnidirectional. It only goes down. <laughs> Left and right. Sure, that's not Straight and forward. That's still two. That's a 2D plane. You're missing the up and down. X, Y, Z axis. So yeah. He actually thinks there's a weight of air pushing down on him. That's what he thinks. Won't XYZ. go up. It'll never go up. It'll just sit at the bottom. Ever. Stay there. It'll Ever. never go up. Even though there's less pressure above it. So there's less pressure above it zero pressure above it it'll never go up no it'll just sit at the bottom because of gravity it'll just stay there no which means you have like at the Show very bottom, demonstration the most pressure, jump. and above that is gonna be a little less pressure and above that's gonna be a little less pressure and above that a little less and then there's gonna be narrow where there's no gas just like the atmosphere no yeah because see I, I i've i've i want a demonstration of this because you know what i'm hearing right now is a story about turning a carriage and uh, making a pumpkin into a carriage and taking the princess off to the ball. I don't think so. Okay. It sounds good, but it's not sounds- really. You see how he keeps touching his mouth like that? It's because he knows he's full of fucking shit. It, it, this is the thing I don't get though. In, in every other area, it doesn't work. What they're saying, they can't demonstrate Mm-hmm. Um, basic physics it goes against yet we, when it's concerning um nasa space travel their combustion and w- w- anything to do with that that it's gospel to them they don't question it they don't approach it with an open yeah. mind they contradict themselves by going against all the other the stuff that's been demonstrated on that's yeah so i just I can't get my head around it. I just can't work it out. I just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he wears nail polish. Listen, every one of these guys is some kind of a freak, some kind of a weirdo. Look, again, uh, I've good. never seen this test. I would love to see it. I'm sorry, what? Well, yeah, no, that, that's, yeah, I was going to say that's the other thing. They all seem to have this sort of like childlike mentality or the, the same answers. It, like it, it doesn't, matter or oh you know it's just just very like dishonest people like or, yeah that's why they come across to me so mm-hmm. not good 
No, this guy's as full of shit as a Christmas goose. I can tell you that right off. <laughs> right. I would love to yourself. see that. I, 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 maybe I will. Maybe I could film it and come back and talk about it. Um, but if we can, real quick, we'll get back to um, what you had said there. So we get a container. We evac all of the air to That's create right. a vacuum. Yep. Uh, what's the closest one on Earth that we have to space? 17 to the negative. Glenn four, Allen. Four, 10 to the negative 17. Four, maybe. I'm not sure what it is. No, it doesn't even get close to what the Carmen line is. It gets about to the same pressure as the carbon line. It's got eight foot walls, concrete, steel reinforced, um, and it's in Sandusky, Ohio, at the Glen Research uh, Facility. Do you think Jesus really lived and died, did the miracles 2,000 years ago? I don't think it was 2,000 years ago. I think it was less than that. Uh, it's no, not it's, it's it's significantly more than that we have vacuum chambers that suck out everything and only let tiny tiny particles through the big ones yeah the big ones are not that not that powerful but the tiny there's the smaller ones that are like this big that gets you to pretty much as an absolute vacuum okay uh so i guess my question then is <laughs> in order to build a gas uh, a vacuum chamber excuse me a vacuum chamber here on earth we have to put it in a room sealed Fairly. yep evac the air yep now what's claimed to be above us past the car which requires containment i know where he's going with this in line is space vacuum yep no physical container right so i think i think you're really confused here because you think no that's if there's no if you're required to build a container to keep the air out that means that that proves that vacuums require a container or something. It's very, very bad logic. So to prove you wrong, I don't, sure. I don't, it's totally fine to put a vacuum in a container to prove you wrong. All I need to do to prove you wrong is to show that gases will fall to the bottom in a no, vacuum. They, they won't will equally not. float to all corners of the Yes, they will. They don't float, they rapidly fill the empty available space. This guy's, like I said, this, this guy is living in cartoon land. Of the vacuum container. All they will do is fall to the bottom. Because if that happens, then it doesn't matter if we're in a container or not. Because if we're not a container, the gas will fall to the bottom. If we are in a container, the gas will fall to the bottom. So either way, the gas will fall to the bottom. And the vacuum of space is possible now. The vacuum of space has been proven. Because all the gas falls to the bottom. That means there's this little bit of gas here. Gas, gas, no gas. And there's no container between those two things. There's no container creating the vacuum. Mm -hmm. There's just gas that's falling to the bottom. Although, so sorry, go ahead. I don't want to jump in. So, so it doesn't make a difference if we're in a bigger container or not. Space is still real because space, the lack of any atmospheric pressure, is going to be there simply by the the changes in the density of the gas. And it doesn't make a difference if we're in a vacuum or not. And so the, that's the topic we're talking about: is space real? That would prove space was real, yes. Even though, but it doesn't though. Not not the way that it's what? described. I'm not saying that things that are, that are up in the sky are a projection. He's he described an experiment that has never been done. That is what T. Jump just did. He hypothesized an experiment that has never been done. Because if it had. We would have seen it by now because this is one of the biggest arguments. And where does he, where is this experiment? Where have we seen this actually take place? Nowhere. Only in your fried out mind, TJ. And or not really there. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is that it's a physical impossibility for a vacuum to exist next to a pressurized system without all of the air escaping into said volume, we would die instantaneously. <laughs> Guests fall down, go boom, right, Glenn? <laughs> oh, gas fall, go boom. Yes, every time. Oh, fucking God. Okay, so that, that's the part I was going to do. So, so let's say we have a container with a vacuum in it. And we have another container, just a little glass bowl of... Mm -hmm. 
a heavy gas and we put the glass bowl in the middle of the vacuum. Now, if you were right, the gas in the glass bowl would escape. It would leave the glass bowl. It would go out. It would fly everywhere, go all corners of the vacuum chamber. And if it doesn't, if it just sits in the bowl because of gravity. How about just do it with regular air? Why do you got to have to have a super dense gas? After all, aren't we using the same gravity that's holding all this air right now? And I don't think it's going to do what you think it's going to do there, T. Jump. Not a bit. Little fishbowl. What? Take away the fishbowl. Just have a little gob of that gas sitting down there. See what happens. He's already admitting there has to be containment by the uh, advent of using a fishbowl. You know? How do I think the pyramids were made? I have no idea. Perhaps giants. I don't know. That proves... How, how was the Coral Castle in Homestead, uh, Florida built? By one little five foot six Latvian man. All by himself. Monoliths. I don't know. You tell me. Your statement wrong. Because the gas isn't escaping. There is a pressurized gas system, the, the bowl, that has an open top that is directly connected to a vacuum directly above it. And the gas isn't escaping into the vacuum. It's just sitting in the bowl. Now, if that happens, that proves your previous statement completely wrong, doesn't no. it? No. No. Because the open container is still in the vacuum. Yes. Yeah, so there's an open container that is Are directly connected to the vacuum. Are you suggesting that Earth is a vacuum? No, because that would like, be your example. You know, so there's a bowl with some gas in it, like Earth has gas around it, mm -hmm. and so there's some pressurized gas. So then there's a bowl around the Earth. Is that what you're saying? There's a bowl around the Earth. Gas that's around Earth, and there's some pressurized gas in the bowl. So mm -hmm. pressurized by the weight of the gas, mm -hmm. and it's directly connected to a vacuum. There is a vacuum directly above it, and the gas is not escaping into the vacuum. It's just sitting there in the bowl because of gravity. And so if we have an object like the world that pulls gas towards it, even though it's correct, directly connected to a vacuum, the gas isn't going to escape because the gas is like it's trapped in the bowl because of gravity. It's being pulled towards <laughs> Once again, this is all postulation. Do you have a demonstration? I mean, I've got an entire folder of vacuum chamber stuff, man. We got an entire folder full of little videos showing vacuum chamber experiments, weighing things in a vacuum chamber, um, and then watching them increase in weight when you take the air out, um, seeing what happens to like something that's next to a little hole in a vacuum chamber, you know, when there's a vacuum outside of it and it sucks it right through. I mean, all kinds of crazy shit. And, uh, Surely, if you're going to, there, sh you should have readily available, because this is the first time I've ever heard this monstrously stupid argument. <laughs> I mean, wow. Yeah, it's next level stupidity. I mean, this is all, he's just postulating some experiment that has only been done in his mind. <laughs> it's the thing oh. with the gravity. In which case, it can be directly connected to a vacuum and not escape. Just like there's a lot of gas in the bowl, which creates a pressurized gas system that isn't escaping into the vacuum, even though there's a vacuum directly above it. Mm -hmm. Raised by grandma? I think raised by grandma. It's just a feeling I get. Is that your final point? I don't want to... Sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm still, I'm still not seeing how this, this proves anything that, that what is claimed in, in your model, and, and, and furthermore, um, we're demonstrating here that your independent variable in that test is gravity. So how are you manipulating gravity to ensure that it's actually the, <coughs> the gravity is pulling gas to the bottom? The independent variable is the gas. No, that's not. No, it's not. The gas. So it's not. no, it's what not. we're measuring there. Is... You said gas is staying down because of gravity. Right. We're not testing gravity. We're testing the effects of what the gas is doing. So we don't really care what's causing it to go down. It doesn't make a difference. It's irrelevant. We don't care. It does. You just said it was because it was a fucking gravity. What are you talking about? This guy is a moron. Why does he even try?
See, I still, I think most of these guys are some kind of weirdos that got caught for something and they have to do this. I really do. I really do, man. Because this bullshit that they come up with is just, wow. No. It's the so cause and effect correlation. You don't correlation. need independent, independent variables to do all kinds of experiments. That's that's just false. That's just a ninth grade level understanding of science. That's a very basic definition, not required for most scientific tests. But different topic. Go back to this topic. We don't care about gravity. We don't care. Doesn't matter. We just pretend. Let's pretend there's no gravity. We don't care. The only thing we're trying to prove here is: can you have pressurized gas next to a vacuum, and can the pressurized gas stay pressurized and not go into the vacuum? That's all we want. Mm -hmm. Is that possible? I had um, I had a can of a, a canister of propane sitting next to my shop vac one time, so that was pressurized gas next to a vacuum but that's the best i could do so i don't know so if we yeah. have a bowl and there's heavy gas in it it's, it's pressurized gas the weight of the gas is pushing the gas down we don't care if it's done by gravity doesn't make a difference we have a bowl so the weight is the cause of the weight what it just causes its own pressure how how this is, you're right, Daniel. He is. He's just making this shit up as he goes. It's pressurized gas. We put it into a vacuum, which means right above the pressurized gas, it's exposed to a vacuum, direct mm -hmm. exposure to a vacuum. No. And it's not going anywhere. Yes, it's it will. staying in the bowl. There's a pressurized gas right next to a vacuum, not expanding. So that disproves your point that if a pressurized gas cannot exist next to a vacuum, because it literally is doing that and not moving. Do you, can you show I'd, I'd love to see this. I've, I've never seen this. And as a matter of fact, I think that this would violate a couple of natural laws. It does not. <laughs> okay. I mean, this has literally been done meant multiple times. Do you have Pressure an example? You could, do you have an example? Fucking oh, show it. Um, if it's been done literally millions of times or dozens of times or something like that, somebody's got it on YouTube. He did. He didn't even, when he said that breaks a couple of natural laws, he was straight away, no, it doesn't be. He didn't even know what natural laws the, uh, the guy was referring to. It just. Yeah, this guy's just, he's, he's going to cool. hell. He's just yeah. going to hell. Look at him. Sorry, Dave. Also, as well, I think in their world, they're so mean to each other that it probably encourage him to go on and debate or they've got something over them or. They do it so when they lose or come back, they're just yeah, they're just so snide to uh, uh, to each other. These people, very not a good look. I mean, has this guy got a channel? Does this T Jump guy have a tan channel? Let me see. Or is he just a troll that comes on? Um. Yeah, I guess he does. Let's see. It looks like he since this thing he shaved his head because he got a different haircut. Yeah, he's uh. Yeah, that's what I need to look at. How to do that? All right. Wow. Okay. No, but if you want to talk to the people who actually keep these on file, like uh, what's his name? Fight the Flat Earth, uh, Creation Cats. They have these examples. They can pull up for you. They have them saved. I don't have them saved. My, my topic is, does God exist? But they have all the data if you want. Okay. This is a very so, common experiment. It's, not, it's, like, it's pretty basic. And... <laughs> it's, it's funny that it's so common because when we ask astrophysicists this question, they say, yeah, we don't know how that works exactly. Um, I've never. It's a common experiment. A very basic experiment, but he can't provide one example of it. He just made that shit up. I had another guy on on Facebook was making that shit up too. He he started that too about well first you can die a gas and I'm like no you can't. You cannot die gas. I'm sorry. You just no. <laughs> Gas doesn't. Oh my God! Yeah, so, I think they're so so used to being unchallenged in, in the environments they uh, move in. 
they they can get away with making stuff up and um yeah not not around here they can't they are, yeah, probably in their workplace in where I, yeah i dread to think i really <laughs> would stay as far away from these people as you before no you can't mike alan you cannot die gas you can put dye dispersed within a gas, but it's just particles of dye within the gas. The gas is not dyed. Nothing for it to adhere to. <laughs> Jesus Christ. LJ. What's hey, going great, on? great show as always. Yeah, man. So, yeah, you know, Mike, you can't, I'm sorry, you can't dye gas. You can disperse what is gas well gas is uh unbonded molecules basically they're unbonded to one another um no it's it's a mixture of different elements that that are made up of gas like carbon dioxide and dihydrogen oxide and uh, or dihydrogen monoxide and um you know those types of things so they're, but once you have them together, like for instance, uh, oxygen molecules are not bonded together. They're not bonded, CO2 are not bonded together. So they have free expansion, Joule's free expansion of gases. Um, elastic collisions, they just don't. Hey, you know, T Trump is about to rage quit, he's going to get pissed off and rage quit. Is die, hold on a second, Mike. Here, I want to ask you, is dye a gas or uh, what is it? Dye isn't a gas. Okay, so you can't dye gas. You can disperse dye within a gas, but it will separate. The dye will fall to the ground. The gas will disperse all on its own. So, sorry, man. It just doesn't work like that, man. Ever hey, heard, so, like, I've talked to physicists, they're like, yeah, we know exactly how that works. It's it's the, the gravity, strong electromagnetic force, and the weak force. There you go. Problem problem solved. That's how it works. I'm not sure. Like, which part Which part do you want to explain how it works? I can explain every part of that. Problem uh, solved? Well, I mean, listen, it, it, we could we could sit here and continually talk about it. I feel like we're going in circles. I don't know if you want to change topics. I mean, just keep it moving. Well, I mean, sure. I mean, I'm not going in a circle. It's like we're talking to a brick wall, but I've gone in a straight line. Well, it's because you made up some fucking experiment that's never been done except in your brain and tried to pass it off as evidence. What now? Did y'all say something? I was laughing. I just got, I literally, did this guy get it? Hey, so stitches. have you noticed, you notice how YouTube hides like the real comments? Like if you go to this, like this video for modern day debate, Mm -hmm. you won't see any uh like comments what you what you're gonna see is like these weird glow comments but if you hit recent uh comments then it'll mm -hmm. actually you'll actually see real uh comments same with yeah, like you... all the all the mainstream glow videos they're uh, very it's like specific. all fake comments that get recommended you know it's just yep. just weird there you go thank you no longer on the ball <laughs> gas is a fundamental state of matter in which const constituent Particles are widely separated with weak intermolecular bonds. Too weak to bond to liquid dyes, right? Absolutely. And so I'd like, somebody else said something about go spray paint some air. <laughs> you know? If you do good work, brother. Keep it up. Thank See you, man. And the entire time. I think it might be a good idea to explore another <laughs> idea. So uh, yeah. if you want to kick us off big country and... Uh... Give us uh, another uh, example that you might have brought up in your intro or even something sure. outside of it because you said you had other things as well. Uh, yeah, sure. So um, what would be your explanation then, T-Jump, for certain astronauts saying, yeah, absolutely, you can see stars when you're up there, and then others astronauts uh, saying that you cannot see stars up there? Uh, I would assess them when he's garbage. So one of them's lying. Um, no, I think it's probably most likely it's contextualized to the statement. Like, did you see stars? And many of the astronauts could have said no because of the time when they worked or whatever could have been during the day when the sun was exposed. And so they wouldn't have been able to see stars. And if you ask otherwise, did you see stars? And they worked during the, the night or whenever the 
sun wasn't out, they could have seen stars. So that, that would have been one explanation, but I really don't care about their testimony. Testimony isn't evidence. Well, no, 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 no. T testimony is definitely not evidence, but the inconsistency of said testimonies of the people who have claimed... Hold on a second, Mike. You tried what? You tried to float bullshit past people who are well beyond accepting it. Um, We're not thick. We're not wrong. You cannot die gas. Sorry. Get, dye is not a gas. It's not. You can't mix it with a gas. I mean, you can intersperse it within a certain volume of gas, but the gas is going to separate from those particles of dye. It's not going to be dyed. It's just dumb. Claim to have been there is pretty damning evidence when they don't line up. Uh, no, not at all. Actually, if we know, any you name one way that there is of dyeing a molecule of gas. What do you do? Hold it down and inject it or something? Get the... F Jesus Christ. Think about the testimony. We, there's an experiment done uh, where we had 20 people. Are these one of those experiments that somebody else has? Uh, it's an experiment that's common. Again, lots of people do it. I go to colleges, gotcha. we do this. So, yeah, so gotcha. I could do it right now. It's that we've done it a million times. Uh, where there were 20 people put up to watch uh, something go on. They didn't. They weren't told what car crash happened right in front of them they were all separated went to different rooms and asked what they saw and they all of their testimonies differed because that's just how the brain works this is not evidence of anything eyewitness testimonies diverge a lot very well known in law this is not surprising at all so now with the images that come back of said moon landing right lack of stars absent in the background from videos and photographs what would be the uh explanation there probably because there wasn't enough light to expose the film to cause the stars to show up. Like literally, if you just take your phone and take a picture of the stars and you don't set it to a high exposure, you won't see those stars. Then if you set it to a high exposure, you'll see the stars. So if the camera was set to a low exposure, it wouldn't see the stars. Very basic. Absolutely nothing challenging about it. It's actually the opposite of that, but yeah, um, that's a good excuse. But I still see stars at night from the earth. Why wouldn't I be able to see stars from the from the moon? I don't have an atmosphere refracting and diffusing the light, right? Come on. And what an opportunity yeah. to make a picture of the stars. You'd think that would be one of the sort of in the top ten priorities to document that sort of stuff. If you know, if you're going up that there to do. Yeah. Yep. You definitely want to do that. I mean, didn't they spend, you know, a few billion dollars uh, supposedly to send this big Hubble telescope and shit up there? Why didn't they take some of that shit up there with them when they went? Why didn't they take up some kind of telescope and see if they can get a clearer view of the different planets and shit without having to worry about all the atmosphere, right? Yeah. No, let's take. We'll take a Titleist golf ball and a fucking golf club up here with us, and and Buzz, he's already he's got about one hundred and fifty dollars worth of fucking silver dollars in his pocket that he's going to give away to people when he comes back to Earth. Um, I mean, just some ridiculous shit. And that was the science they're doing. Like, what are they doing on this on the on the space uh, station right now? What is it that they're actually doing? How has mankind benefited from that space trailer floating around up there? Space trailer, I like it. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, I've been in single wide mobile homes that were shitty that are better than this. Yeah, you know, unfinished wires hanging out everywhere. <clears throat> just a mess. It's just there to make you think that they're doing something. And all they're doing is what? Oh, well, we do somersaults and we'll play bagpipes and we chase each other around and play grab ass with a gorilla suit. And, you know, really, that's that's what you do up there. And that's the science that you're conducting. Get out of here. Yeah, it's insulting. Now, the amount of money that's supposedly been put into that money pit. What has the be benefits? What benefits have we reaped from it?
Nothing. Not a thing. Not a thing. Other than videos of these assholes doing somersaults. God. Okay. Do you have, uh, Ryan, can I get screen share for a second? Yeah, sure thing. Just let me know uh, when you're ready. Uh, I will remind everybody once yes. again, if you haven't, hit the like button. Uh, we are going to, once again, I'll say it again while you get your uh, screen share up. We're going to be doing our Q&A here. we still got a little over an hour, I'd say, uh, of conversation, and we'll head in there. So uh, whenever you're ready there, big country. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Right. Uh, oh, did you en enable it? Okay. Yeah, it's ready when you are. Just uh, gotcha. hit screen share on Zoom. Cool. Um, boom, boom. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we are. Glenn, I, I'm sorry, man. I don't want no memory foam, man. No witnesses. No fucking witnesses. All right. Is that <laughs> working? We're up and running. Okay, cool. I didn't know if you could see the whole thing or not. Um, so, T Jump, I'm sure you've seen this. Uh, this is India uh, just a few months ago landing on the South Pole. Nope. Okay. <laughs> so based on your uh your belief in the moon landing right uh let me here let's let's full screen it let's go back a little bit this is a live video that uh they played as the lander was landing um so i guess my question here t-jump is do you believe that's a real video uh no doesn't look like it <laughs> okay and the stars in the background well, it looks like it's computer generated. Like, there's no shadows on the machine at all. It looks like computer generated stuff. But, um, when you just said, um, I've, I have had the Tommy Chong thing, but never had Tom Petty mixed in with there. Maybe I'll have to get the guitar out and play a Tom Petty song or something. We'll see. <laughs> I agree. I, I listen, I 100% agree with you. I'm, we're finding common ground here. So, why would India show this video live? And say that it's them landing on the moon, and NASA confirmed it. Hey, Why would they, they do, do that? They do artificial representations of the thing that they're doing because they it's can't show the actual thing they're doing. Video, my guy. Right. So I, I do live video. They have to show a animation because they're not really doing it. T Joe, that's what it really is. Videos every day, and they're just reruns of other things that I've done. Because I, I like it's it's just to represent the stuff that you're doing, like it doesn't mean that it's literally the actual video. It's not how it works. Gotcha. So a fake live video. Got it. Uh, this one here was from when we launched back from the moon. Ignition. What was that like sparklers that came off of that? Uh, I have no dust. idea. Probably pieces of metal from the explosion that launched it forward. Wow. No stars, so that's interesting because India showed stars in their live fake video. Uh, do you know the delay that they said that the camera was on? You can stop screen share there, Ryan. No, I don't I don't care. I think they said it was three seconds. Did that I don't know. I don't care. Doesn't matter. I I told you about an experiment that was only ever done in my brain and um you know couldn't really happen in, in reality. It looked like a three second delay because that was perfectly a center to frame when it took off. What the delay wouldn't have made a difference. So the camera that's right next to the thing that you showed wouldn't have had a delay. It would have just literally been showing the actual video real time. The three second delay would have been like how long it takes to update the video to the computer or whatever. But the video was being recorded live. So it wouldn't have the video itself occurring wouldn't have taken three seconds. It would have taken three seconds for it to transfer to the computer and then be sent back to Earth. Okay, so what is how is the camera filming that that uh, lander, whatever you want to call it? How's it filming that? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, there's no one there. Me. There's there's no one there, right? They didn't leave right. somebody on the moon, right? So it's that guy that filmed uh, Neil Armstrong coming down the ladder. When he said that shit, that, that guy's been up there for years, man. So they set up a camera uh -huh. and they set it to watch the thing and then to track an object, most likely. Or they just set it up to go up at a certain speed after like 
if they set the ignition point to be, I don't know, five minutes, they could set the camera to wait five minutes, then pan up. Like there's a bunch of ways you could do that. None of that is none of that is spectacular. Like a, like an eighth grader could do that in their back. An eighth grader could do that. Sure. T jump, you couldn't do it. Shut up. Backyard. And they did that in 69? Yes, like literally an eighth grader could do that right now with, with Legos. That is not hard at all. Like a Rube Goldberg, you could just set like a, a string and a rock. And then if you set the string to be long enough and set the rock to fall down a hill, it will eventually cause the camera to pan up. That is very, very not hard to do for an eighth grader 50 years ago. No. Eighth grader 50 years ago. And look at this face he's got on. Um, individual. Look at the smile on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. He's just like, yeah, that's the ticket. Uh, Mike Allen, I'm I'm sorry, you're comical, my friend. You you have gone to the extremes of reach. You have gone to the extremes of reach now, where you can you you can do a chemical reaction with two elements to change their colors. That is one way of dyeing a gas. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, so so the claim here is that they set up some type of time delayed remote control uh, apparatus on the camera to perfectly film when they launched off to track it. W what was the model that they used? You know, no, you could use like a billion models. Anything would work. Stick stick on stick holding camera up could work, and the vibrations cause stick to fall and then camera pan up very easy. Like none of that, absolutely none of that is even surprising. What? Wow. An ad hoc rescue fallacy. No, that's just a basic example of how to do the thing you're saying is really hard, which is actually just a really basic thing that could be done in a billion ways. Because you don't have any proof of them actually doing specifically that, right? That's just your right. theory. Right, because I don't I don't need proof. Like if I can give one example of a very easy way to do the thing, they could make up a better way to do it. Sure. A more accurate way. Absolutely. Do do I care? No. There's, there's a million ways to do it, and, and mm -hmm. they all would work. It would all work. It's really interesting. Hopefully everybody in the chat knows, because this is what I said in my intro. I said everything that we're going to hear tonight that are supposed claims of validating that we land on the moon is none of them are going to be verifiable whatsoever. What? Well, that that is verifiable. Can can you make a camera pan up on, a, yeah, on an artificial timer? Sure. A stick. In 2024, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I can. People could do this. In 2000 in, BC, they this is not hard. If they had a camera, they could do it. But so having a camera on a timed device that causes that it to pan up is very easy. You do it with a stick. It's like it's like how they caught rabbits. They they tied a stick to like a they bent it over, and when there's any vibration, the stick would fling up and they'd catch the rabbit. The exact same thing. You could do that with the camera too. Any So they had a camera on a stick that felt the vibration of the little sparkly explosion, which wouldn't have carried any vibration except in the ground, maybe, from that distance. And it fell over as it was going up in perfect synchronization with it. Hunt huh, T-Jump? Wow. Vibration causes the, the stick to go and it would fall and it would go up. And this is very easy. The technology to cause a camera to pan up or to cause anything to pan up existed 4,000 years ago. So you are from the earth, from a quarter of a million miles away, you're able to, even with a delay of signal, be able to exactly get it as they're going up. What? Come on, man. Yeah, I know them dogs. Are, that's all they do is drink that water all day. Okay, and I don't mean to sound rude. It really just sounds like you're making random shit up and How throwing it to see if it sticks. <laughs> yes, that's exactly. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Throwing random shit out there, hoping it sticks. Come on, Bobby, don't move by the way, buddy. Man. They all just went out. All the dogs just went out. So now they're back in. 
and drinking the water and eating the food and bothering the hell out of me. There you go. Yeah, lay down over there. Good job. Holy shit, Brandy. She must have went out there, took a big old piss and dried herself out. Like, like what what like if I say a basic fact that is super obvious and everybody knows about and you're like you're just making stuff up it doesn't it doesn't seem coherent because you're like you're not doesn't seem like you're listening because if I no, say no. something that's super super basic that everybody understands that everybody knew about thousands of years ago and you're saying you're making stuff up thousands it doesn't make of any years sense ago? yes yes like how to cause things to fall on a delayed timer is very easy extremely easy. Three thousand years ago, we could do this. I think. I think we've. Uh, I think we've explored this one. If uh, we want to move into some new territory, uh, I think we. This guy doesn't have any brains at all. This T jump guy doesn't have a fucking two brain. He's got two brain cells, and they're busy fighting each other for domination. Come to a, a stop here. So, if you want to uh, continue on their big country, if you got uh, another example or something from your intro, uh, we'll keep rolling down. Yeah, sure. Um, I guess we talk about the fact that we have no idea what the moon is, right? So we would not, we don't even know Rock. if it's terra firma. What? Terra firma? Terra firma is like another word for earth. What does that have to be yeah. being a rock? It's a rock. How do you know it's a rock? Because we have parts of it. I mean, there's multiple ways. We can use light informatics, which will show what its material consistency is by bouncing light off of it. So we can know what it's, everything that's made of from doing that. We also brought out parks, so we know it's a rock. So the parts we brought back, the one that we know of, it's been tested as petrified wood. No. So is there? It's There's not. Lots that we know. Of. There's lots that we know of. They've. Been... The thing with his haircut is that he could only afford half of it. Um, once he saves up, he's going to be able to go back and get the other half. Been tested. We know they don't have any hydrocarbons in them or whatever. I think that's the word. So to show that they are literally different from any earth rock because they don't have the right composites of uh organic based compounds that would be there if it was an earth rock so we know exactly what it is and do you have an example of one that you could pull up show hey this one was actually tested to be a moon rock nope again you could ask the people who would keep the data on that which would be like creation cats fight the flat earth gotcha so so no is the answer i'd be like why in the fuck am i even talking to you you don't have anything We're, bring those that one of them other cats up here man you don't seem like you got shit other than what you make up in on the spot. Well, the answer is yes. I just I don't need to provide it because it's already there. <laughs> We're in a debate talking about this, and you're like, I don't need to prove anything that I said. Just believe no, it. No, it's like it's like you say, do I need to prove the sky is blue? Nope. You can just go look yourself. It's fine. It exists right there. First search if on somebody Google. is colorblind, it wouldn't be. Right. So I mean, but if you're if you're if you're basic facts blind that's i mean that would be the, the the more fundamental problem that you might want to figure out like believing you can have a fish bowl of gas in a fucking vacuum chamber yeah right on t jump good yeah yeah so he, somebody said here coming the rage quit here pretty soon t jump rage quit it huh huh ain't that something okay so um you said earlier what, what did you say first about well, we got the moon rocks. You said we 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 do something to the moon. I, I didn't hear what you said. Uh, that we know what it is. Light spectros spectroscopy. Light spectroscopy. Uh, yes. Spectroscopy. What spectroscopy. Spectroscopy. What's spe what is spectroscopy? It means you bounce light off things, and the way it bounces back tells you what materials it's on because it, the different atoms reflect light differently. Oh my god! Are you sure that's what spectroscopy is? Pretty sure. Okay. Do you know what the three uh, specters are? Specters? What? S spectras. Spectras? Spectras for spectroscopy. Spectras for spectroscopy? I, I don't... Mm -hmm. There's not three. There is three. There's not three. Continuous absorption and emission. That's not... A, what, what is a specter? A specter is how we view things, right? So, uh, <coughs> continuous is a solid or liquid. Um uh, an absorption spectra is gases with a light behind it, and it's produced by energization. And emission spectra is gases with light behind them and produce cool thin lines. This is how we view it on the Roy G. Biv. Okay. So do you, are you... What does it have to do with anything I said? Okay, so you brought up spectroscopy. 
Are you aware that there's two forms? There is more than two forms. There's only two. There are no, there's not. That's wrong. There's terrestrial. There is celestial and terrestrial. There's only two. No. In fact, yep. there's lots of different forms that have to do with the wavelengths of light. It has nothing to do with where you're looking. So that's that's incorrect. You just don't know basic facts here. So like there's infrared spectroscopy. There's um, x-ray spectroscopy. There is... Um, those are limited bandwidths. You're not going to get that refractive index. What the fuck? He's making shit up again. Regular bands of light spectroscopy. So there's there's yes. not two. You just made that. There's two. The it's celestial no. spectroscopy and it's called atomic absorption, which covers no. UV. So I just proved you wrong on that one. No. That one's just no. wrong. Next? No. Yeah, yes. You, you were wrong. Next? No, I'm not. No, you, you were wrong. Celestial spectroscopy. It's okay. You can be wrong. It's fine. Is it's fine. atomic wrong absorption You're a spectrum. But are you going to? I'm explaining to you spec. I'm explaining to you spectroscopy. You're, you're a flurf. You're wrong. It's okay. You're wrong. We know you're wrong. But this are you going to try to address the argument? All right. Let's yes. give the country a chance to explain what he was uh, trying to convey there, and uh, you know if there's any confusion, and then we'll uh, move into a new subject. Uh, if sure. Good, fellas. Okay. Well, no, he's just to address the argument. So yes, we do light spectroscopy. We can see what the moon is made of, and he's going to say no for some reason, but he has. Yeah. It. Correct, because I'll break down how spectroscopy works here. Well, you don't know, so that's not going to help. <laughs> you, you, just, you just skip to the part of why you think it doesn't work. I tell you why you're wrong. Well, let's give him a chance to uh, to uh, explain that, and uh, then, we'll, of course, we'll give you the floor there, T-Jump. So go ahead there, big country. Okay, so terrestrial spectroscopy is an atomic emission spectrum. It's inductively coupled plasma electrothermal graphite furnace. So what we do is we take something. We want to know what it's made of. We take it. Okay, and we put it in this machine. <coughs> this machine. Nope. So I don't know how this has anything to do with what I said because we don't do that to the moon. Next, dude. Let's this. This guy's next. That's what they do. Craig does that too. Next, like that. Like no, fuck you. We're not done with this. I can't stand that shit. And uh, tentatively, we're set up to uh, flatoid and myself. Will be uh, now. It's tentative right now, but we're supposed to debate, um, fight the flat Earth and McToon on uh, on Jaronism on the twenty seventh at six p.m. Uh, Eastern time, which will be three p.m. Pacific, and it's midnight for um, Flatoid. So that should be a pretty interesting debate um waiting to hear something back from jaron on that so that'll be that'll be fun yeah i'll be looking forward to that it's it was this movement writer says here's why uh t jump tries to pull a mctune but it backfires okay cool cool yeah he was gonna add to next can't die gas only thing you can do is contain it inside of a container that contains well, it's, it contains gas. If it comes out of the container as a colored gas, it's only because they're both seeking escape together. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, why don't you see if you can find some actual evidence of your own belief system there, Charles? That might actually show you something. You know, instead of just blindly believing it like a retard. You know, why don't you actually investigate it? That would be a good thing. This is terrestrial spectroscopy. Right. So you're, you're trying to explain to, to sound smart. You don't sound smart. Can you get to the part where you object to my argument of this doesn't work for the moon because magic? Okay. Terrestrial spectroscopy. Atomic. Which has nothing to do with the moon. Oh, All right. Fuck. Let's let them explain their T jump so we can uh, move on from here. No, I'd like to explain. Yeah, how about you moderate a little bit, Ryan? You fucking milk toast. Jesus Christ! Tell that fucking skater boy, overaged, goddamn teeny bopper acting fuck, to shut his fucking pie hole for a couple minutes so that the guy can actually get some information out. Maybe you might learn something. I doubt it though how dinosaurs have wings is that relevant to the debate no it's not why because it has nothing to do with the moon so if you could explain how it has something to do with the moon 
Yes. If he wants to tangent off of random topics that have nothing to do with the moon, no, because I want to stay on topic of the debate. Well, then we'll let him add on how it ties into the topic after he's done explaining. So uh, we'll let you no, explain not, that. I'm, I want to monologue about dinosaurs. <laughs> I want to monologue about my church or, or my religious doctrines. No, well, let's get down the topic. I'm trying to. Why is he so deadly afraid of him bringing this up? Because he knows he was full of shit. He's about to get pulled out onto the carpet. And um, I got to say, big country, I'm not familiar with him, but he's holding his cool pretty good. Uh, I would have done told this guy, you need to shut your fucking cock holster. You know, that's what you need to do. Okay, how does, how does this relate to the moon? Well, if you wouldn't incessantly interrupt me, I would tell you. All right, without the meta, let's let's try to avoid the meta. Let's uh, okay. try to get into a big country. Okay, terrestrial spectroscopy. Atomic emission spectrum. Individually coupled plasma electrothermal graphite furnace. This is what we do. We take the divide, or do we take the item that we're trying okay, still, to... We don't do that to the moon, All right. literally. We, we, gotta don't do let, that to moon. we gotta let them talk T-Jump. I've asked you separately. T-Jump is deathly afraid of this information coming out he really is he does not want this to come out at all full times now. dude the chat's seeing point. it i don't i mean and t jump has left if i put him on mute he leaves that's uh, usually how it goes dope uh, winner winner chicken dinner he's gonna go into q a or what it's it's like a secret power that i have if uh he's not going to uh, he just lost the debate and left that's dope we didn't even get to everything ryan you've been a great by the way you've been a great moderator i gotta tell you no worries. Well, thank you. And uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately. Uh... So that was it. You wouldn't let him keep talking over him. <laughs> and do you like that when a movement's writer? <laughs> yeah, man. So he just rage quit. He just rage quit. He wasn't even an hour into the damn thing. But he's, he certainly didn't want that information coming out at all. He tried to shut him up interrupt him every time oh, i want to do a monologue about dinosaurs yeah i i tried to give some space for uh, our speaker to explain uh what they <laughs> what they were trying to get into and unfortunately uh, uh putting a speaker on mute has uh, caused them to leave t jump you're welcome to uh, join back in the discussion you don't have to leave us buddy there's no need for that all right sorry everybody uh, uh no i think what happened is is he got somebody who actually knew about spectroscopy and said oh shit gotta go well, what we'll do is we will try to get uh, what we can out of our super chats. Uh, let's see here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll t talk a little bit about yeah. the upcoming event because I think that's going to be cool. Actually, if you want to just give me a moment, I think that'd be a great time. So I see there's a lot of people still hanging out right now. We do have a lot. I don't of know. We'll, we'll pick it through with a couple of Austin, uh, Texas, questions and whatnot here. Fest. Why not? Uh, so you would have seen that uh, that advert uh, throughout the debate. You do wow. get a 20% off when you use our promo code MDD at the checkout. Check out that link in the live description. And uh, yeah, let's uh, see what some of you had to say and some of the questions that you had. And I will apologize in advance to LJ. I know you had some questions for T-Jump. I always appreciate uh, seeing that uh, you're hanging out in the live chat and you're keeping things friendly and keeping things rolling. So let us see here. Do, 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 do. LJ, thank you. I will read your questions here and I will uh, let Big Country respond uh, since T Jump unfortunately decided to leave uh, at the first sign of moderation. LJ, why can't <laughs> helicopters hover until destination arrives? That's a perfect thing because he could handle moderation. That's a great way to put it, right? So he's asking, why can't helicopters hover until destination arrives? I'm not sure. Uh, that was one for T-Jump. So if you want to, uh, like I say, talk to LJ, uh, like I say, he's uh, he's here to ask questions to T-Jump. But uh, I did want to give you some interaction there. LJ. I, I, I mean, I don't I don't mind jumping in on this. He's talking about how the atmosphere is supposedly supposed to be in lockstep with the Earth. It, but that's that's more of like a getting into flat earth. I mean, I don't, you know, we can I guess we can talk about it, but that's a that's a you're the you're the moderator, and so it's it's one V me. So <laughs> no worries. Uh yeah, well, we're here. We'll we'll hang out, we'll have a good time. Don't worry, everybody. Uh we've got uh, your questions here and uh uh big country. Um I hope you know uh, it, things didn't go to plan, but uh, I hope uh, as, as a good sport you're good to <laughs> hang out here and answer yeah, yeah, some of these sure. questions. Sure. All right, thank you. Um 
but yeah, I won't keep you for a full uh, two hours now. I don't think, uh, you know, we sure. Might that's cool. No, uh, I'll go. I can see my kids. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, Hey, I can, uh, I can't second that. I'm in Nova Scotia and they went to bed, uh, two hours ago now. So <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, uh, I got to drop them off in the morning though. So icy spin asks a dollar 99, uh, retro reflectors checkmate good game so icy spin coming in to uh give you a fan chat i think they're a big country <laughs> uh let you know he's in your corner now it's time to get to somebody who is uh asking you some questions here sure all right so kango 44 asks big country you can bounce a laser off the retro reflectors left on the moon you can do it yourself sure you can uh so you could bounce lasers off before there was retro reflectors. So bouncing something off and claiming it is a retro reflector isn't proof of the retro reflector. And quite for like when TJ was talking about the laser comes right back to you. I've never everything that I've done research on this. They say that, no, you launch a laser from a, it has to be a specific kind of laser, a pulse laser strong enough to reach the moon to come back. But what comes back is not a laser. It's just data on a computer. It's just a set coordinate plane that they uh, presuppose on their um, sky vacuum. So, all right, uh, let's carry on. Kango asks again, big country, you can do T jumps ham radio experiment. It does not require to know the medium between you and the moon to work. And they asked T jump to explain, but as uh, once again, T jump unfortunately has left. So, uh, uh, we'll let you respond there, big country. Uh, sure. I don't, I don't know enough about ham radio to pull an answer out of my butt to say, Oh, okay. I'll just try ham. Plus, you have to have a license to do ham radio. There's a lot of training. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about ham radio. So, all right. No worries. We can carry on there. But, uh, yeah, I can go if you have any other questions that, there that are not related to the ham uh, radio. Uh, we'll try to get some more out. Uh, LJ, $1.99, says there's photos and vids showing stars through the moon. That's correct. Yeah. The, I think it's called the lunar. Lunar wave has been uh, filmed too. It's pretty interesting. Uh, I'm not making any positive claims that that means the moon is plasma or anything like that. But yeah, stars have been observed through the moon. No worries. Alrighty. Uh, LJ asks again. The Royal Observatory um, has uh, on record uh, observations of stars through the dark portion of the moon. So I don't know what to say about that. I'm so sorry, LJ. Uh, I know you wanted me to, like I say, ask these to the other side. Why can't we see the moon at any point during the eclipse? Why can't well, what kind of eclipse? Solar eclipse, lunar eclipse. I, why can't we see any of? Because gases are not liquids. Gas, liquid, solid, and plasma, four states of matter the moon during the eclipse i i would need to know what kind of clips you're talking about i think a better question is uh what does that have to do with us landing on the moon which it doesn't so. no worries uh let's carry on thank you so much again there big country for answering these questions and uh, uh entertaining the uh, live chat after things went a little bit south but uh yeah, sometimes happens on modern day debate. Uh, it's uh, a completely open space. You know, uh, we aren't censoring things. We're not scripting anything. You get what you get. You don't get upset. That's what we tell the kids. All right. So, <laughs> so don't get upset in the live chat there. Kango44 uh, asks to you, big country. Recently, a private company, Intuitive Machines, landed a lander on the moon. Was that part of the lizard man conspiracy? So, um, Charles, what you need to do is you need to actually, like I told you before, look for some actual evidence of a globe. And then you're, there you will find your answers, okay? Actually, honestly, look for some proof of your globe. <clears throat> Absolute 100% verifiable proof of your globe. That's what you need to look for. And when you are unable to find it, then you'll understand. How do you verify that they landed something on the moon? You just take their word for it. I'll Here, I'll, I'll pretend you're like Kung Fu and I'm that old blind dude, man. You must first go forth and try to find Grobe before you can realize true Earth. Grasshopper. See? Maybe you'll listen now. 
will answer for him because he can't answer yes. He'd just be taking their answer for or their their. He would be t- he would believing you. He would be believing what they said. That, yeah, we put a lander on the moon. Of course, there's no evidence of that uh, whatsoever. So saying a private company did it, it's just saying a private company did. It. All right. Uh, LJ had also asked, how can space not have oxygen without a container? Correct. All right. And LJ also had asked, I do want to read your questions here, LJ, like I said, even though uh, <laughs> we don't have the other side. If That's Earth okay. is too big to see curve, how do ships disappear? Yeah. God damn. Question. Man, I cannot believe people still ask that fucking question. As many times as it's been explained. As many times as it's been shown, I just still keep coming out with the same, uh, same dumb yeah. shit all the time. Why does your ship go over the curve? The look, look. From the bottom up. Okay. I see Spin asks uh, for $1.99. Uh, Veritasium did retro reflector laser test. Checkmate. Sorry, say that one more time. Veritasium did retro reflector laser test. I might be saying that wrong. Verita- sure. Veritasium, I'm not sure. Veritasium. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Is that a company? Is that a person? Is that a, a type of laser? I have no idea. Again, it's an unverifiable claim. I mean, you're you're asking me to answer a question about something that's very specific that I don't know who that is or what that is or if that's a company. So. All right. Let's carry on then. Kango44, uh, thank you everybody for your super chats. If you have any other questions to ask the big country uh, related to uh, the moon landing hoax, get them in the live chat because uh, a, a big country is uh, willing to answer your questions here. And uh, we're going to have some fun before we close out the show. And uh, once again, want to remind you, uh, you get 20% off when you use MDD at the checkout for our live event uh, coming up here. So, uh, LJ, how do you know you see 55% of the moon if you never see 100%. Yeah, that's correct. During a new moon, you can't. It's so funny. They say that we see the dark side of the moon during a new moon when you can't see the moon. You don't even see gotcha. it. It's not even detectable. Okay. And let's see. LJ asked a question directly to T-Jump, so we'll carry on. I see spin. Correction. Mythbusters. Not veritasium laser test i'm sorry i see spin we already uh explained that we're not sure exactly what this laser test is that you're referring to oh, gotcha. but uh you know i do apologize we won't be able to get too much more on that one but i do see you have some other questions and we'll see he, see mike here's the problem man we observe what you postulate Okay, we we do not observe what you postulate. Okay, you postulate something that goes against all experience and observation. Okay, and like I told the other young Padawan, you must first seek the globe in order to find the true earth. Okay, you have to look for the globe. See if you can find it. You won't. I'll wait. I already know you won't be able to. Look, are you pissing people off to the point where you're just going to get you? Um, yeah, I don't, uh, you know, if he's he's not really that bad, you know, you didn't got to time him up, but just quit talking to him. If he's just, if he's convinced it's a globe, let him think it's a globe. Who the fuck cares? Let him do what he's got to do. You know, that's his problem. That's a you problem, not, not us. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at here. Here's Brenda. How you doing, Brenda? Hi, morons. How oh. you doing? Still trying to figure out um, what the moon is? No. Why? Like Were you going to help us? Because you don't know what it is. I know that. You think it's, 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 I've been lie. listening. I've been listening and catching up to your broadcast. It's it's hilarious how fucking stupid you are. Is it? Yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah, the moon is a rock. It's a rock. Yeah. How do you know? How do you know that? We brought rocks back. Wait, 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 wait. How do you you know? You brought a rock back from the moon? People did. No, no, wait a second. I said, how do you know? Oh, somebody told you. Somebody told you they brought a a rock back. Yeah, that's how I know. Yes, that's how I know. That's not knowing. That's just believing. That's just believing. That's just believing. That's wrong. That's incorrect. You don't know. No, that is correct. No, that is correct. 
No, oh, that is wrong. correct. You oh, oh, you're wrong. That you've been told that. No, I, I know. I know. How do you know? Uh, because people brought moon rocks. How back. do you know they weren't lying to you? Um, I don't have to have certainty. Why? Cognitive dissonance. Because so, that's not uh, how you knowledge You don't have works. to have certainty? You don't have to, wait, wait. You that's don't have correct. to have certainty? That's well, correct. How, then how are you so certain? Um, I'm not absolutely certain. Well, then shut the fuck up. Well, that's not, that's how knowledge works, moron. No, it's not. That's how yeah, belief totally works. Is. No, that's no, how belief isn't. systems work. Knowledge is a type of belief, moron. No, it's not. It absolutely is. No, it's not. Yes, it's, it is. No, it, it's not. No. Yes, it is. yes no. it's justified true belief. That's yeah, what knowledge okay. is. Justified true belief. Yeah, how so it's it, belief. How right? is it justified? So it's belief. So but how belief, is it justified? Correct? How is it justified? So you, right. How so you is, admit that it's belief. It's belief. Then. Hold on. If it's a belief, how is it justified? So so you admit that it's belief then? I just ask you if it's no. a belief, how is it justified? Admit that it's a belief. I'm not admitting anything. I'm asking. I'm trying well, to get you I to define. You I'm, getting, I'm getting you to define your own statement. Uh, how, I, what I, is told, a I just told you what it is. No, what is a justified belief? What does that mean? It, Knowledge is a justified true what belief. What does that mean? It means that it's a belief that's true. How do you know it's true, though, if it's a belief? Because it's been justified. How? Um, so you need to admit that it's a belief. No, I don't have to do any such yes, thing. Yes, you do. Hey, no, I got you a can't question. ask I got any question. further questions unless you admit that it's I can belief. do anything I want to, Brenda. Well, this is my show. Not you. anything you want to do. So you can do that. I can do anything. So, Look, I can get you your, next your logic is based on, on faith? You're, you, you, this is what your argument is. You're coming here Brandon, saying that know, I believe in this true. shit, and you know what I know no. is based on this faith that I have in these people that are telling the no. supposed no. supposed truth. No, and you're coming up here calling sovereign yeah. soul stupid. Holy yes, shit, yes. man! Yes, yes. You have revealed yourself for what you are, uh, even uh, after even within the five fir first minutes, dude. I'm like blown away by how stupid yeah. you are. That's well, you, you, man. So, That's you. What I'm trying to, what I'm trying the, to understand, what I'm trying to understand. Definition. Blind it's faith. Been That's, been been That's what you fucking base your fucking uh, reasoning I'm on. Sure. Blind That's faith. Right. It's Bravo, not faith at man. It's not. Bravo, in Brenda. What way, in what way is a belief justified? Uh, it, I'm just going to go back to making you admit that it's a belief in the first place. Well, I just want to know how you how one something so, can be a, a justified belief. For the what past, constitutes a justified belief. So for the past 3,000 years since Plato, knowledge has been defined as justified true belief. Can you show me that? Can what you show me a citation on about? It? It's in his dialogue. It's in his dialogue. Yeah, then show me a citation on that. No, you can look it up. I think it's, you're making it up. Like I, think you're just, years, I think you're just making been, shit it's up. Been for a thousand no, I think you're just making shit up. I don't care what you think. Yeah, I, I know. You so, but right. you're just making Brando, it up. How do you it's know been, space is Plato, real, Plato says it, it, knowledge is a justified true belief. Um, Where's that? Where does he say that at? In the Theocetus, okay, first of all, I don't, I don't understand where you think Plato is like the all-knowing fucking being of this world. Who gives right. a shit what Plato said? I don't think he's. It's the like you know from fucking no no no. If you you use common sense, common sense. So you don't need Plato. All you need is common sense. Yeah. All right, common sense. That's says, all you need. Common so sense. common says sense dictates a, it, that a scam artist would have a fucking field day with your ass. Okay, that's what common no, sense that, that, dictates right now. You will believe you absolutely anything you fucking hear, see, no, I don't. or fucking observe. No. You, you you don't have any I use critical, actual I use critical tangible. Reasoning. I use critical what reasoning? Thinking. Because all I hear so far is you believing in people that tell you something that you think happened. No. Like uh, people no, bringing rocks true. back from the moon and yeah. you claiming that the fucking moon's a rock with no proof. Yes, that's rational and reasonable. It's not Why rational. It? It's yeah, delusional. It's totally rational. It What's is absolutely it's ration, about? it's rational thinking based upon a fucking indoctrinated fucking mindset no, not that at you've all. been not fucking inculcated with. It's based what? on a rational belief. It's not right, rational wait, 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 reasoning. Wait, 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 wait. Right, You're taking wait. your dumb right. information from these stupid fucking people like NASA and Mr. Bill Nye, the science guy, all right? And you're right. believing oh. that for fucking and you're the one who has this religious indoctrination. <sighs> 
This no, is your I issue. In science. Science is no, no, no. Religion. You don't believe in science because science, real is. science, is demonstrable. Oh, look at me! I'm retarded. I'm a globe. <laughs> Yeah, very, 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 very adult. Fucking good. Yes, you didn't prove anything other than how stupid you are. So, okay. so rational no, belief. It's no, rational belief. I, I, I still haven't gotten an answer to my question. I'm not going to so give I'm you one until break, you admit. I just want to break it down, so maybe you understand the question. So let's suppose somebody has a belief. What? What is the belief? What? Okay, belief is is uh, wanting something to be true. No, that's not what okay. a belief is. You fucking um, moron. Okay, it's so what, a belief what is, is what a justified is. belief? What is no, that? No, that's mean? not what a belief is. What you is don't know what the fuck you're talking belief. about? It's you're not. an ignorant fool. You're an ignorant fool who goes on, on well, YouTube. Before saying he's an ignorant idiot. fool, why don't yes, you just explain from your perspective what belief is and stop fucking you're throwing ad homs and just get uh, to the why point? Why should I care? Why? Why? Why should well, I? You're You're here right now, man. Yeah. You come up on the panels yeah. because I imagine you want to express your point of view. No, so I go ahead and do that. Of Instead I of being a fucking troll, don't be I'm a brother. troll. Be a brother. gentleman and explain yourself. You know? We all no, have ears no, here. No, We're no, willing no, to no, listen. No, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm no, pretty no, sure no, Sovereign no, Soul is going to take the time no, to hear you out no, if you don't be a fucking bitch. Cry about it some more. So a belief is mental content that you hold to be true. No answer. Do you believe that this is, Brent is sixty six years old? So belief a belief is mental content. You believe that that somebody sixty six years old acts like an I, adult? I don't care. I don't care. So a belief is mental content that you hold as true. No, I don't. I don't That's believe it. That's literally what it means. It's been since Plato. That's what Plato defined it as. Well, it's Plato been, ain't the sheriff of shit. Fuck him. It's been, it's been Plato exactly can what suck what my fucking balls. Fuck, fuck, fuck Plato and Socrates here. and Aristosthenes and yeah, his little buddy. Like, yeah, Nobody cares. Man, like, Nobody you know? cares what you reject because you're, 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 you're just an ignorant. You're just a ignorant white trash. In a fucking bathhouse. White trash. How do you know his face is real? How do you know Plato's real, dumbass? Oh, because he wrote books. Did he? Oh, yeah, no right. No well, answer. they weren't no books at that time. Were. There were scrolls. So, were yeah. Chiseled shit out on <laughs> man. They didn't chisel things. They wrote on papyrus. They chiseled stuff. And, you know, they wrote it. You could tell because he signed it. He signed it on there. You can, and then Socrates, he, he, he signed his shit too. So and Copernicus. What about it's Copernicus? Pronounced, it's pronounced Socrates. You so great. It's Socrates. Can't you read? S O C. R A T E S, Socrates. And it's Copernicus. Nobody cares. Yeah, they do. Right? So, they um, do. knowledge is justified true belief. I have justification. So, it's any process. What is, that, just, but define justification. What do you mean? So, you admit it, it you would, by moving on, you admit that a belief. No, is, is I'm a, still trying to understand what no, the how the term I'm justified. Your question, then. How does the adjective justified relate uh, to I'm the not, to, to, the, to, to the subject of the word, which is actually what right Knowledge, belief? So you no, have belief is mental content that we hold to be true. Right? Why is it held to be true? That's the definition. Yeah, but what makes it true? It's what whatever, makes it be held true? No. Facts and evidence. I believe, or belief. If if I believe, right? For instance, no if I believe in if I believe in unicorns, then I believe that it's true that there are unicorns, right? That's what it means to believe something. Okay. Right, but that would be an unjustified belief because Why? there's no good reasons to believe in unicorns. There's no good reason not to either. It's just a horse with yes, a horn is. on its head. There's good right? reasons to not believe in unicorns. Why? Well, what do you think would be re good reason not to believe? They're in mentioned in the Bible. No, no, they weren't. That was right. Yeah, they were. Story. I can that point to a bunch of different times unicorns are mentioned in the Bible. They were, that was rhinoceroses. No, that says unicorn, yeah. my friend. Yeah. So a unicorn has never been shown to exist. Therefore, it's reasonable not to it's believe. never been shown not to exist, though, either. I mean, there's a lot of people. Think water water spins. That's I've that. seen a lot of drawings of them. There's a lot of legends That's, about those them. Aren't, those aren't good reasons to believe. Those aren't good reasons to believe in something. Why you believe in the moon landing based on stories? 
It's no, I, don't look, I, have I, have a I believe it based on facts. You you, you believe it based on facts. Check my moon rock. Facts. Check it out. Facts. You have as that. much fact. You have as much fact of uh, moon rock as I do of unicorns, Brenda. I have all kinds of facts. We have where? We have what video, fact? Name one. All kinds of facts. Like what? Uh, video recordings of them being on the moon. Oh, oh goodness oh, yeah. gracious. Great. Yeah. What about that video movie. recording of Sandra Bullock up there in the space station when it got hit by a fucking asteroid or some shit? And they were no, you flying don't. around. And <laughs> you do not. No, you don't. Man. There's no video that looks recording. More of, real. There's no video recording of Sandra Bullock in a space station. There, there is, is too. Oh, there isn't. They yeah, made an entire movie out of it. That's a movie. That's not a video recording. That's a movie. So it's but not, it's more it realistic know. than the, the footage they thing. give what's us. For <laughs> what's simple the minds, between, simple minds like what's you. What's the difference have. between a video recording and a movie? So one is made with a video camera, and the other mm -hmm. is composited. Brenda, Whoa. Superman is real. Can video cameras? Right? Can video cameras make composited? Um, no, they can't. No. Really? No. no. They, what? Just record, they just record what goes through the lens. I've seen people do it with their phones. I've seen people do it with their webcams. I'm doing it right now with my webcam. And it's just a real cheap one, but yeah. Um, that's that's okay. video equipment than what they had equipment. that back then. They didn't have that back then. They didn't. Correct. So how did how how did they film that movie? Um, two thousand one, a space odyssey. That was what nineteen sixty seven. They filmed it. It came out in nineteen sixty eight. So how did they film that? They used the same technology. They used, they used, that they used practical effects. Used. They used practical effects. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like like miniatures and. Sure, all those things. Sure. Take moon sets. Yeah, that's called that's called film. It's people not, in it's costumes, maybe people in costumes. Right. So the maybe, difference, maybe even simulating weightlessness on these crafts and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they did yeah, all yeah. that stuff. Right. That doesn't prove that doesn't. But they prove can't that. do that. They can't do that with you know, if if it has a NASA sticker down in the corner of it, it or something, prove. then they, they can't do that. They could never do that, but. They had no problem doing it for movies and shit. Not at movies, all. Movies don't prove that we didn't go to the moon. <laughs> they don't, don't prove that we so. did either. In, in fact, in, in yeah, fact, it's, a it's probably some correct. of the best evidence that we haven't. Not movies, to mention the entropy problem, Brenda. Movies, there's no entropy problem. Not to mention problem. how in the fuck would you get out of the container in order to get there? In the first place, there's no container. Moron. There has to be. No, there is. Doesn't have to. Well, be. There doesn't. Then you you finally found a way Tom to demonstrate jump. air having a downward acceleration due to gravity. It has mass, so therefore it yeah, I don't give a fuck. I don't. That mass attracting mass went out 109 yeah. years ago. So no, fuck it you. No, yeah, it, it did. did. Yeah, it no, did. It didn't. No, it yes. didn't. No, it That's did why not. they had to come up with the fucking bending of a fourth no, dimensional no. construct of the mind. No. Yeah. General relativity is not a conspiracy okay. theory. You're just a moron. All right. Well, show me a downward acceleration of air due to gravity. Tom Jump, I already talked about it. Open your refrigerator and you yeah. feel the cold air on your feet. That's yeah. downward. That's downward acceleration. That's not due to gravity. Heavy. That's just due yes, to the is. fact that it's denser than the warmer air. That's caused by gravity. <laughs> and that's not caused by cold gravity. Air. It's caused by temperature. No, it's not. It's yeah, caused it's caused by, by temperature. How do you caused, know it's caused by te gravity? Temperature is not the cause. Temperature is the, is the cause. No, then it is why not. Does it have, then why does the air have to be come out of the refrigerator? Because it's heavy. What if I open a refrigerator in a refrigerated room? Will I get the same effect? Probably if, if all the same no, temperature, probably no. not. No, if the room that's right. No. So it is due to temperature, isn't it? No, that's not that's not how logic works at all. You're it is moron. that's how reality works. I don't oh, know what your logic is. You think you're a fucking girl. Yeah, come so on. Man. I don't care about your, your, your homophobia. I love that okay. one. That's fucking great. I, I mean, you're the last person I go to for logic. So temperature is not the cause. The cause oh, it's is not. Gravity. So the, so it's, if, if it's not the cause. Yeah. If it's not the cause, hey, white why trash, don't, white how, trash. About, how about if I just quiet, open white trash? How about quiet, if I just trash. go ahead and open a quiet, fucking white, regular white trash. box? Hey, your sister's calling you is for the a air? Is the air going to come out? Is the air going to fall out on the ground? Your sister's calling you with your third baby. Come on, white trash. White come trash. on. You sound like you're Eminem. 
Yeah. yeah. Brenda. Oh, yeah. She's having a third baby. Come on, white trash. Oh, come on. Brenda. Brenda. Stop. Grow up, honey. Come on. Right, Brenda, I should grow Look, up. I'm I on the moon. Grow up. Brenda. Brenda. Why are you always so angry? Please. Yeah. Well, 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 I'll, so I'll give you a guess why. I'll give you a guess. You know, you're too fucking stupid to even figure it out, aren't you? We, we you're too fucking then. stupid to figure out the simplest things. Gravity causes no, 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 cold you're air the to one. Down. No, no, That's why no, when you no, open up no, the refrigerator, no, no, no. Look, when you open up you're, the refrigerator, you're, you're, the cold air you're hits incredibly, your feet incredibly gravity. ignorant. And uh, I don't you even believe that word, you're at that point just, where you can believe. Trash. Uh, you know, I can have myself looking like as if I was on the moon right now. You know, see, look at that. Look how amazing prove, technology is. We didn't go to the moon. And you're telling you me fucker. that uh, you're, <laughs> this is nonsense. You can see it plain with your own two eyes right now that it technology make, can do all kinds of amazing things. I, I and you're telling me that how you believe. That prove, how does that, that prove we it, didn't go to the moon? How does why, that prove? Why, well, I want to know well, why. Look at where Sovereign sitting right now. Check him out. How does it prove Look where he's sitting. Yeah, he's how sitting does it in the space the station. Hey, Think uh, about hey, it, man. Quick question. How? Do how does it prove we didn't go to the moon? NASA has done. You, you believe everything? How does it prove we didn't go to the moon? How does it prove we didn't go to the moon? If we how can do your, it, they have screen, a lot more fucking funds and a lot better equipment to have screen? us believe that they went to the moon. How does Hello? a green screen? How does a green screen prove we didn't go to the moon? How does it do it? How does it prove? Well, we maybe you should go to NASA and ask them well, how come they have you, blue and green screens all over claim. the place. I'm asking you because you made the claim. How does green screen you prove we didn't go to the moon? Claim of you fucking, fucking morons. Superman. How does a green screen claim. prove we didn't go to the moon? You fucking clowns. How does it prove well, it? Brenda, it was, Brenda, hold on. It hold was. on. Guys, 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 guys. We didn't go to the moon. Brenda, Brenda. I, I I was really looking forward to an answer to the question that, that facts put out, and that is why are you so angry all the time? I'm not angry all the time. Well, then why do you come on here and uh, act like a shit? Because you're assholes. Well, then why do you come here? Uh, to yeah. give you what for? You're not really <laughs> giving us what for. Yeah, we, we're laughing at you. I am. I don't care. So, so why are you out, why are you so angry? I'm I am angry at you because you're homophobic, transformative. Well, once again, why do you come here then? Yeah, yeah. Why? Why, why would you I, come here? That'd be like a black you. person. Because That'd be like a black person going to a KKK to meeting because and then she's broken. The she's a broken you know? hoe. That's why she comes here. To make fun of you. And she to, wants and to be around real men because she doesn't are. feel like she has that ability, uh, you know, to express herself in that particular way, and she comes up here. To be able to act like a bitch, I mean that's pretty much man. all I can perceive right now. He does, you know, you are he or weak. she. I don't You're know what the fuck man. to call you anymore because you You're know weak, uh, today man. it's all You're fucking weak. convoluted and fucked up, and yeah. we're not You're able weak. to Hold on, wait, really wait, identify wait, things wait, for what they really are. Wait a minute. You're weak. A man <laughs> that dresses in up like You're weak. a woman You're weak, is calling man. us You're weak trash. Yes, you're weak trash. That's what you are—is trash. Well, Brenda, sister. I'm sorry that you were never able to mentally I don't care. progress past 12 years old. I don't care what you think about me at all. It's how not does, a thought. It's an observation. That's an observation. How does green screen, how does green does green screen prove water. we didn't go to the moon? You how fucking moron. It, it proves it all. It proves it all. You're, you're just too stupid to realize it. You're just yeah. too, too dumb and too fucking Absolutely. in your feelers. And you come up here to act like a bitch. You, you know, what claim. you need is you need a daddy. That's what you need. You you're must have had stupid. fucking daddy issues when you were a little boy. And uh, well, that's what made stupid. you want to become a little girl all you've got. because you didn't have any love from your got. daddy and your daddy all wasn't there got. for you to fucking show right, you what right, it's right, like to be a man. Listen, 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 listen. You need a daddy. That's what you need, Brenda. You need a daddy. the question. You can't survive. No, you need a daddy, Brenda. Oh, look at me. I'm retarded. I'm a globe. Okay, can we like stop? All Why? Right. Why? Because we don't tell me need... how. Tell me how green screen proves we didn't go to the moon. It, okay, it, does. I'm... it just does. Just like tell you believe how. in fairy tales, I'm gonna tell you it does. That's tell it. Me how. Tell me no, how. But I'm, no, no, I'm not gonna tell you how because uh, you know I'm yeah. gonna say do like everybody else and do your own fucking you realize, research. You realize you, you can't do that. No, do it your own research. I'm not going to spend waste anything. time talking to somebody who's green delusional screen. and thinks that they're a fucking something nobody that they're cares. not. Nobody cares. So I, I'm, Look, I don't nobody know. Nobody cares. Like, 
when I realized that I, so <laughs> I was actually talking screen, to a wall. Your green screen you know, doesn't I'll, prove that I'll the yield, didn't go uh, to the sovereign. moon. Can you prove? Can you prove that you did go to the moon, Brenda? Can uh, you? Uh, you're the. You made the. Wait, claim. wait, wait! No, 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 no! I didn't. I'm not. I'm not asking about the green screen. I don't give a no, fuck. I about am. The green I screen. am. Well, then you okay. need to. Retract can you or it. can you not prove that they went retract to the moon? Retract it. Retract the green screen. Can't, no, I'm retract just it. off. You know, retract I'm going to do what I want to do on this I, show. I don't care that? what you want to do. Retract well, it. You know what? Then you can wait backstage till I'm done talking. Then I'll bring you back up because you won't shut up. Now. Oh, so she left or it left. Stop calling it she. That's sick. That's sick. <laughs> a grown that's senior what she citizen. Wants. A you grown give her what she wants. Citizen. No, no. Bullshit. A grown <laughs> senior citizen man acting like that give me a break come on you gotta That's be wrong. shitting me i'm supposed to take anything serious from that get the fuck out of here jesus criminally what the fuck man so no no i know they didn't have green screens back in that day okay and listen i was i watched it I watched it on TV. I remember it. And I remember going outside and looking up at the moon and thinking, oh, my God, those guys are up there. You know? And, um, yeah, I believed it all. But, you know, what we saw on TV, you know, if I had looked at it with a critical eye instead of the eyes of a child, I would have never bought into that shit. Not even um, for a minute. And you was know? it in black and white? Was it? Yeah, it was in black and white, right? Yeah, yeah moon landing. Yeah, okay. So yeah. they they didn't have a need for green screens anyway. It takes more. Um, takes more they power to. Have, to yeah, they have to have a setting. Television. Yeah, you have the color shit and different and and you gotta imagine too. This was uh, most people. Had, it was tube television, tube TVs. You know, it was a lot right. of tube technology. Solid state was pretty new. If they and it wasn't like micro sized solid state like we have now, I mean, hell, I can remember it was a number of years later before I actually saw the very first pocket calculators come into the store. Kmart, they were in the jewelry department because they were extremely expensive and valuable. And they oh, only I went remember, up to eight characters, you know. I remember but, when they came out with the uh, calculator watches, and at the oh, same yeah. time. They had, um, I think I was like, what, 16? They had like the, you could control TVs, uh, you know, with the remote mm -hmm. controls when they came out. Yeah, it must have been like 16 years old. It's like 30 years ago. They had came out with these watches where you could uh, turn on your TV, control the volume and shit like that. And you had a calculator in there and everything. Well, cool. when I was a kid, you had to, you know, be of substantial means to have a remote control for your TV. And uh, so I was the remote control. <laughs> well, it's funny you say that because, well, because like, I was working back then and I, you know, I like to buy, like, I was a tech freak. But uh, it's funny you say that because my father, when uh, I was, uh, uh, you know, a lot younger, around eight years old, he would, ha he would have a TV, you know, with the, uh, with the 13 channels. And then you had the UFC or whatever, uh, UHF, I mean, uh, with the like 100 channels on that. And you'd have to turn the knobs and you'd had a knob to turn the volume. And um, so he'd get up and he'd turn the uh, he'd, he'd pull the yeah. fucking knob to turn the TV on. Right. Uh -huh. But he made a stick that was about uh, is I'd say. Eight oh, feet right, long. right. It was eight feet long. And at the end of the stick, there was a hole so he could put the fucking um, the, the, the stick <laughs> on the knob so he could per turn up the volume. And and he'd, he'd have a, a like um, um, a slit in that hole where he, it would go, and he could also change the channel too. Yeah. So he'd fuck it, He could put the stick and put it on the knob and uh, change the channel to whatever channel he wanted. So he'd never have to get up. Only the only time he'd have to get up uh, was to go to bed because he could even turn the TV off with the stick. He couldn't turn it on, but he could turn it off with the stick because all he had to do is push back onto the knob and it would just turn off the TV. That was crazy, so, man. Remembering that. And I remember we also had a beta video player. Oh um, shit. Yeah. I remember the beta VHS. Right. Work. With the with the remote control, but it had a wire. 
Yeah, That's I remember fun. those too, man. Yep. Yeah. A friend of mine, he his dad worked for an accounting <laughs> company or some shit like that, and um, so they they had a push button phone in their house, and uh, they had the VHS and uh, or Betamax. You know, I think that they had uh, what was the other thing that. It was like they were always the first ones to have some shit, you know. It was a yes. friend of mine when I was growing up. But it's yeah, RPB RPB sixty eight says only three channels when I was a kid. I remember that. Yeah. Well, we had actually four, but we had uh channel nine in Detroit was um uh CBC and there wasn't much on there. <laughs> really anything of any interest to me anyways, except there was a show called Friendly Giant I used to watch when I was a kid, but that was about it. So let's see what other questions they ask us, guy. It's too bad T-Jump had to rage quit so quickly. We'll try to get that uh, those ones addressed. Kango44 asks, uh, wow, big country, they accuse you of being super dishonest. You showed a graphic of the Indian moon landing. No one claimed it was real footage. They said it was a graphic. No, it's not true. If you watch the whole video actually in their command center, that same video was playing on their te their television screens. They said it was being broadcast live. Okay. Icy Spin says, why did Russia confirm we went? Didn't they hate us? No. Russia didn't hate us. Russia doesn't hate us now. For some reason, it's part of that whole Red Scare uh, and the, quite frankly, it it because I could sit here and postulate about why other countries said that we will landed on the moon when we said that we did. But it's it's just that, right? It's just a hypothesis. It's like the same question as to why would somebody be lying about the the shape of the Earth, right? I have no idea why psychopaths are psychopaths. I have no idea why habitual liars habitually lie. Uh, but to answer the question about why did Russia confirm, because in my belief, Russia can now say, well, fuck, we can do it too. There's no reason to deny what somebody can do. If, in fact, you'd like to do the same thing and pull the wall over the eye, uh, the wall over your eyes of your followers or your citizens or whoever, um, it just becomes, it's, it's, it's the same thing with nukes, right? So nobody denies that they have nukes because everyone wants to have nukes and mutual assured destruction. All right. Icy Spin asks again, thank you for answering that one big country. Uh, so Icy Spin uh, asks uh, again uh, when astronauts land in 2026 ish what's the excuse so just as a thought experiment if they say we land on uh, land in 2026 uh, what what's the excuse is what he's asking uh lord only knows dude we were supposed to go there uh next year matter of fact there's an article that anybody can look up in the chat like I know, i'm reading some of the chats here as they come in through um it's funny, a lot of people uh, say that I'm delusional, but don't say why. Um, uh, there was an article that came out that said that they had planned to build um, property on the moon. There's Good like a, God, uh, they've been kicking that can down the road since I was a little kid, man. They've been kicking that can down the road. There's even people have sold plots of real estate on the moon and gotten away with it and shit. And there ain't, oh, my God crazy crazy and people buying it up too there's people that they were bought tickets to go to the moon back in the 70s man and they've done died and never got to go so 3d printing company that's already rendering drawings out of texas i believe it was so it's kind of funny all right you got it uh, Icy Spin asks again, spectro, uh, spectro, spectroscopy needs spectroscopy. a container. That's correct. Which I was, I was eventually, hopefully, going to get to. But, you know, it's all right. It's all good. No. That's the difference between terrestrial and celestial spectroscopy. Terrestrial spectroscopy is actually done in a physical container with multiple, multiple uh, controls to ensure that there are no pollutants to give you a false positive of the test. Um celestial spectroscopy is we look at a light and then we determine what it is based on the colors that we know of course there's no way to uh control the pollutants between the source of whatever we're looking at let's just say the sun that would be claimed to be 93 million miles away you'd have to go through uh outer space micro asteroids the upper atmosphere smog dust dirt debris how do they control that for taking that out of the test and getting a false positive of the answer is they don't 
All right. Uh, the Filey says, Rage quit. Uh, they're a member for 18 months. Richie Constitution says, Big country, you have no idea what spectros uh, spectroscopy is. We just did this word. Oh, my goodness. There are more than two. What is mass spectroscopy? Mass spectroscopy? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't. I have no idea what mass spectroscopy is. No worries. Uh, mm -hmm. And the first... The other part they said was there are more than two. I think that was talked about a little bit. So did you have anything yeah. to say to Richie on that? Oh, I, well, if, you're, if any spectroscopy is done on Earth, it's done on the in the, the form of terrestrial spectroscopy, which is done in the container. It's the only way we know what, compo what something is composed of. All right. No worries. Bug says for $2, stop having Ryan host on this platform. FFS. Well, bug. oh, bug off, dude. <laughs> Ryan's done fine. Oh, Ryan yeah. was letting it go, and quite frankly, I we were having a good conversation, and then he didn't like what I was saying, and he freaked out. So I don't. I mean, okay. Well, I mean, honestly, sure. it's one of those weird things where it's like you, you can always mess with James if you don't like it, but honestly, you know, he'll probably tell you to. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we're we're friends, uh, you know, and we're partners in this uh, platform. So unfortunately, if you don't like it, this is this is our platform. Bitter Truth says, do you have any evidence against moon landing? I'm assuming that's, that, is, that is for me, right? That's from Bitter Truth. He's been on yeah, here before, would... so yeah, I think he's coming for you. <laughs> yeah, that would be everything that I demonstrated in my opening. See, because I actually uh, gave examples, and I have plenty of citations with that. Um, we didn't get into a whole lot of screen sharing. But see, everything T. Jim did when he came in here was like, no, you can just go check it. So he didn't actually bring any evidence to Not substantiate, which is what I said in my opening. I've watched T. Jump debate before, and all he says is, no, -uh, go look for yourself, or I didn't bring that with me. Um, the, all the claims you're the guy that's not here anymore, but <laughs> I get you. All the worry. claims you heard to solidify that we landed on the moon were unverifiable, every single one of them. So, all right, I see. Spin, will you commit to learning ham radio for truth? No, I'll give you a reason why. I work 60 plus hours, I'm a general foreman for the IBEW out here in Kansas. I have one child who's three years old, another one on the way in June. Plus, I host four shows. We do five. Um, I play ice hockey. My son's a nice. I, if I had dedication to learn ham radio to see if we could bounce a ham radio signal off the moon, um, I just don't have that kind of time. Now, I'm not saying that radio waves don't bounce off the moon. So, All right. We got one last question coming in. And uh, once again, Big Country, thank you so much for answering these questions. I know it gets a little dry when it's just the two of us and I'm just yeah, here right. uh, girling you from the live chat. But uh, uh, no worries. I appreciate, uh, like I say, you answering these questions. Actually, another one just came in. So we got two more from Bitter Truth. They're both for you. Uh, I, think they, I think our audience has realized that uh, you're here and you're answering questions. So uh, Bitter Truth to. Wants to, <laughs> he wants to come at you. NASA collected stones from the moon. Are they lying? Yes. Yes. Okay. Did you want to talk about what those stones might be? Uh, I I've I've never heard that they collected stones. stones uh, is, know, it, is a stone is a stone different than a rock? I, you know, the one that has been tested that they wrote an article about said was petrified wood. Um, I know there's claims that there's other rocks. Well, that's great. Where are they? What are they made of? And how right. they been tested? And where could we find those? I haven't seen them. All right. Bitter truth asks again. You need to bring astronomer. Even Russia landed. Is he saying like modern day debates need to bring on an astronomer? I maybe, maybe. maybe. I don't yeah. know. Maybe we should have brought better truth into the discussion had we known you yeah. were here earlier. Uh, I think we've already uh, committed to the fact that this is going to be a bit of a shorter one, guys. Uh, but if you would have been maybe here a little bit sooner, uh, yeah, we might have been able to pull you in here, uh, better truth. So uh, maybe yeah. next time. Uh, I, I guess I'll answer real quick to that. Like, so ash astronomer aside, right russia saying that they landed on the moon how do we how do you verify that right because originally it was asked earlier it was russia was our enemy right and all you have to do is read a book by gary young called none dare call a conspiracy book yep. the one cold war was taking place we were actually giving russia wheat because they were in a wheat shortage it's not something you do to your enemy when you're in war with them um but just to say that russia landed on the moon okay cool how do we verify that russia landed on the moon do we just take russia's the government of russia for right being truthful 
they would never lie about that, right? Like our government would never lie to us. Like there's a difference, you know, like there's a difference in these governments and shit. And there's not. I mean, that th we we're under an illusion that there there's these different countries and that we, you know, they're autonomous to themselves. And they're not, though. If the last four years didn't show you that, um, surely you could back that up with the restrictions on how high you can go and where you can go on this wonderful earth. Um, what the hell, man? <laughs> they're all complicit with that shit, you know? I want to see when he triggered the Mughal King. Oh, he did earlier, man. He did, The dude just left, man. Um, yeah, to make sure. Yeah, also, Absolutely. What's that? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was going to say all the countries, uh, they're, they're all one. Like They all have the same police uniforms, army uniforms, medical uniforms. If they're independent, even their flags have only got like three colors and a symbol in them. If you're truly an independent country, surely you'd be, have a little bit more individuality. Yeah, you'd think so. You would think. What about a country that just didn't bother having a flag at all? What would they do with that? What if you started up a country and they say, well, what's your flag? And say, we don't have one, man. Yeah. What? How can you be a country without a flag? Well, we just decided, man, everybody who has flags ends up being in, in a war, you know? So... We just decided not to have one. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. That's right, so Like, if, who says you have to have a flag if you're a country? Like, that there must be a governing body to say yeah. if you're a country, you have to have a flag. So they they can't be independent on the strength of that alone. Yeah, and there's got to be somebody who decides. Who decides that shit? Like here in the United States, we got like every state has a state bird. In a state tree, in a state song, and it's like, who decided that? Yeah, who's in charge of picking that out? You know, hey, what bird are we gonna have? Oh, I don't know. I didn't think about that shit. I was worried about the economy, but now that you mention it, it's extremely important that we have some kind of a bird that we favor amongst all the other birds. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Look out the window. Oh, that kind of bird right there. There you go. <laughs> On with business. Jesus, cry me not like, What? Yeah, uh, time zones. So as that well. must mean sorry. That I'm sorry, happening? what did you say? No, I was just gonna say and time so zones as well. If you're an independent country, you wouldn't need to abide by time zones. Greenwich mean time GMT, Greenwich mean time, and the time right. zones. You just have your country and you do your thing, and if you want to trade with another country. You do it on your terms because you're an independent country. <laughs> yeah. You're right, right. Charles Arnold says, uh, he said, a question on the ball. The Jesuits have taken over all of science. Never met a Jesuit. How would you know if you did or not? Um, don't think that they're real. Well, you go tell the current Pope that the Jesuits aren't real. and See what happens. He was one of them, man happening in ukraine and russia right now russia must be telling the truth they wouldn't lie about the moon landing right obviously so what's happening with russia and ukraine they must be telling the truth it's illogical to think that way all right uh bit of truth asks because again nasa has moon rocks and they keep it in a safe place <laughs> like where hold up a minute man have you ever heard of the hope have you ever heard of the hope diamond uh, yeah, is that the biggest diamond? Or, or? It's a great big, huge blue diamond that is um, supposedly a piece of another original blue diamond that was stolen from India at one time. But in any case, it supposedly has a curse and that everyone who's ever owned it died in a really bad manner. But that's on display behind heavily armored glass at the uh, Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. I know I've seen it. I have a photograph of it. So you mean to tell me that they can't actually display a moon rock? And how the fuck would you know if it was a moon rock anyways? They just put any old rock in there. I got rocks that look like they could have come from the moon. Pieces of pumice and shit look exactly like that come from the moon. So here you go. 
you put it in a display case, a bunch of armored glass around it and everything like that, make a big deal about it, and it ain't nothing. You could just have a painted piece of fucking styrofoam in there for all they know. That's right. You know, it's like, it's, like it's got a curse, a curse attached to it. I'm quite a generous person. I might uh, donate it to Brenda or someone <laughs> along them lines. I'm only joking, Brenda. Like, try and get you a little bit less angry less, next time you come on. Brenda's never going to be unangry. We're talking about a 66 year old man who identifies as a female and is. Yeah. entirely angry all the time and shit gets really mad because I'm not going to play pretend with him. I think that if you're a 66 year old man, you should have some sense about you at least by this point in life. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I sense alcohol's got a little uh, thing to play in Brenda's uh, anger there. From I mean, experience. 66, you should be, you know, going to your, your grandkids, graduation or at least having grandkids and being part of a patriarchal aspect of your family and you know that kind of thing you know like the the wise the wise grandfather that you can yeah. go and talk to that kind of thing no That's not right. that you become an elder at that sort of ages you know and yeah as you say you've got the younger generation of your family looking up to you asking for guidance and right yeah it's because wisdom comes with scars yeah well, wisdom there. comes with scars man wow so so the one that they were willing to give up to the ambassador uh well is technically the prime minister uh turned out to be fake so they're like we'll just keep the real ones we'll give this guy a fake one um yeah again that's unverifiable all right. We got more pouring in. Oh, my goodness. Uh, big country. You're stirring up the live chat. Uh, honestly, <laughs> since we started, uh, j just you answering the questions, I think another six or seven have popped in specifically oh, just for you. So it's good. Uh, once good for again, modern day debate. It's, it's great for us. And we really appreciate the support, especially <laughs> we have a live event coming up, uh, you know, and I, I do hope everybody hits the notification bell for that. That's going to be epic. James is going to be there in person. So if you're in Texas, book those tickets. Uh, I will pitch it one more time. MDD at the checkout gets you 20% off and uh, really hope we'll uh, see you guys there. Um, and yes, big country uh you know this is a uh, super appreciated like i said things didn't go exactly the plan but uh I, you know we want to make sure that uh, in the live chat uh, that we give you a oh shut up ryan ask round of virtual applause question. because uh like i said you are taking the time to answer all these questions on your own and kind of just like i say take the one side here so uh appreciate you bud um sure. so bitter truth said rabbits are just yunk not sure what he means maximilian villa says because you only believe things you can verify yourself, do you believe in heaven? Uh, it's a straw man. I never said that, first of all. Second of all, um, you're asking a philosophical question and then asking me to apply uh, the four senses to it. So I don't, I'm not really sure how to actually answer that question. Do I believe in heaven? Yeah, but I don't have to solidify a belief. I could believe in a flying spaghetti monster for all I want to. All right, you got it. Thank you. Bitter Truth says, uh, means all of lie except rabbit. It's all of lie except rabbit. Maybe that's uh, what yunk meant? I don't know. Yeah, rabbits are just yunk, means all of lie. L-I-E, except rabbit. I'm not sure. I think it's a quote. If you want to oh, let yeah. me know, Bitter Truth, what that's supposed to mean, I don't know. It sounds kind of uh, ominous. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah, guillotine says, what evidence would you need to change your mind or is there none change my mind on the moon landing i'm assuming is what he's asking um yes hmm, what would i need to change my mind i would need for them to slap a forward-facing camera on a rocket and shoot it up into the sky vacuum uh and then land on the moon live feed no cuts i mean nasa's been caught live editing their video their editing their live footage um and they find it very interesting on all the rocket launches they never face the camera facing upwards probably because they could never demonstrate 
what is claimed uh, to be as far as the, the earth being a ball spinning and doing all that stuff. Um, because the, the concept of like, there's no up or down on a ball. Like I get what they're saying. Cause I've seen star Wars. Like you see the ship come into a planet and then it just always lands right side up. Right. So they could never recreate that in a live video um, because it doesn't exist. So, but that would be my answer. You got it. Well, thank you. Eric Erpelding asks, you work at IBW. What you ask about the moon could be asked about electrons. How do mm -hmm. you know electrons exist? I don't. How? Electrons never, yeah, electrons never even been observed. Then they say, yeah, to follow up, how do you verify electrons existence? Or exist, sorry. How do you mm. verify that electrons ex ex exist? Well, I think he's Some he's focusing more on the on the on the word right how do you know electrons at list we could have called electrons barney it wouldn't have mattered how do i verify that barney exists in the place of electrons um well electrons have never been observed it's just a colloquial term that we use to to differentiate between potentials right so if you have a positive and a negative there's no such thing as positive and negative electron or electricity right it's just how we colloquial uh name things to identify them everyone thank you so much and uh thank you once again to everybody that's in the uh super chats we have a couple more to go uh, as they keep pouring in uh this is great uh like i say uh you know everybody especially like I say we have our upcoming event these mosquitoes are out can you see them they're flying around me here oh i left the window er open earlier and i was seeding my lawn really bad time to be <laughs> leaving my window open when i'm disturbing all the bugs anyway let's carry on LJ asks, Ryan, do you believe anybody has ever landed on the moon? Well, LJ, I was I, I was about 22, and I was at a buddy's house, and he had this little thing. It was called a moon rock, and I'm pretty sure we landed. Anyway, let's carry on. I, I'm supposed to be an enigmatic, unbiased host. Uh, if you've never seen any of the after shows that we've done, that's great because uh, I want to, you know, go back to being exactly that uh, because I make a lot more friends that way, it seems. Uh, it's it's just better. Uh, you know, when I'm treating people based on, like, how they act versus what they think, uh, it's better for me. Richie Constitution says, did you Google mass spec yet? Is it no. one of the two? No, I haven't Googled anything. All right, no worries. Uh, Bitter Truth says Russia, NASA lying, except moon land refuser. No, not really a lot of punctuation there. Russia, NASA yeah, lying. Russia, Russia NASA and lying. Uh, yeah, was, I think that's what he's saying. Russia and NASA are lying, except moon landing. Refu I'm not sure what you mean there, Bitter Truth. That's a little yeah. bit. This is about the rabbit thing, though um it's it, yeah it's fine <laughs> it's fine uh thanks but truth message me on discord though sometime and uh, we'll have to get you back on the show uh you know we, I, I think it was great when you were on so uh let's try to let's try to focus uh on the last one here so uh <laughs> bitter truth throws in one last one all right this will be the last two everybody um this is daryl carly says for big country so are you saying the astronauts didn't hold their pee for eight days then <laughs> no they pissed in diapers didn't you know yeah man they unzipped their space zippers and just whip let their weaver hang out on the moon and, and they 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 peed their name in it <laughs> you know nasa was here or whatever i don't know men in diapers running around in outer space yeah unless uh, unlike us podcasters we just turn our chairs into toilets we got a whole plumbing system it's sophisticated you should check it out it's Cool. I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't have to get up when you're gaming. It's fantastic. You know, we right. sock. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> All right. A couple more came in. Bitter Truth says, Explain to me what is the quantum physics? They was up there all that time wearing diapers. And, you know, come on, man. And that, I don't know if you've ever drank Tang, but that'll loosen your balls. I'll tell you what. You don't want to be fucking with that not not cool I'm sitting around and then that smell oh you imagine it reeking around in that little area with little shitty diapers on ah nasty yeah man i think i'm gonna cut it off here i think that's yeah shut, shut it's like five 
33 in the UK at the moment. It's, yeah, the it's, 12 30, up. it's 12 30 here coming up on time. I'm going up on three hours now. I think that's a good enough time. Yeah. Um, thanks for letting me be on the stream, so I really appreciate it. Oh, well, thanks for coming on, Fax. It's good to have you up here, man. Um, All right, and it's good to have a so, voice and commentary to go along with what I got to blow my face about. <laughs> All righty. Um, I'll say bye for now and I uh, hope to see you soon. Yes, sir. You have yourself a great evening or day or morning. Yeah. yeah whatever it's going to All right. Bye. bye for now. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. Well, like that's that's a good one for tonight. T jump didn't last long in that debate. Wasn't a whole lot to go over except for the fact that that dude just spent the entire time making up some experiment he came up with in his fried egg mind. Um, no evidence of any such thing. And I, I would be, if I was McToon or one of them other dudes, man, I'd say, dude, you quit at, tell him to come look. I don't have none of that shit. Stop it. <laughs> anyway. Like we always look to say, look at there, I got all blurry and stuff. It's because you all are getting tired now. <laughs> anyway, we always like to say on here, Lord loves the working man. Don't trust Whitey and see your doctor and get rid of him. He'll probably kill you before it's over. So have a good day, everybody. Good night.